How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Wolf, and welcome to a build creation excerpt for uh, the Path of Exile Survival Guide. Now, this is going to be a very, very interesting video. It's going to be coupled along with the previous uh, Path of Building video that I did recently. I put it out Monday or something like that. Um, I'd recommend taking a look at that before you dive into this type of video because I'm going to be covering um, I'm going to be going through Path of Building and using it very, very quickly. I will be explaining a lot of what I'm doing, or trying to, um, to, you know, explain the types of builds and stuff that I'm going to be creating um, for you guys. But essentially what we're going to be doing is, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, you know, um, are you going to do the survival guide with a different build? Are you going to go through on a ranger? Are you going to go through on, a, on, like, witch and all this sort of stuff? And I'm only going to play through on Marauder personally, but because Betrayal League is coming out, I know a lot of people want uh, different builds, they want starter builds, they want very simplistic stuff that they can go for and they can understand and play through, right? Um, just like my Sunder Juggernaut, you know, a build that's like consistent and can get them through to endgame content. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crafting up a build for all of the classes in Path of Exile. Or trying my best to, anyways. We're gonna see how that goes. This may be a long video. There's gonna most likely be links in the description, depending on like how fucking lazy I am. Um, but there's gonna be links to every single um, build timestamp and stuff. So if you want to take a look at your specific build or see what I make, then that'll be in the description down below. I'm streaming at the moment, so I will be pulling opinions from chat and that sort of stuff. Like here, I'll show you what I mean. I switched to my stream overlay. You can see that I have chat and stuff here. People are going off. Now, I'm not going to leave this overlay on because it's going to look like shit for the video. So we're going to go back to stream recording for, you know, cinematic mode and stuff. So we're just going to hang out. We're going to craft a few builds. It's going to probably be a couple of hours. I'm going to try and explain as much as I can. And um, we're going to see if I can give you guys a couple of very simplistic uh, build starters. So we're going to start off with Marauder. Because it's me, of course we are. And I'm going to go for an Earthquake Juggernaut. Should be a very easy build to put together. Now, I'm going to do a couple of different things with these types of builds. I'm not really going to go into, like, skills and items very, very in-depth. Because I'm going to kind of make it, like, loose, you know? So you can go with whatever you come across. It's just kind of a base template, you know? Um... So, I'm going to give you a few basic skill setups and that sort of stuff, a few cast from damage taken setups and that sort of thing. But when we get into later builds that I don't understand how to do, like, you know, I don't, I'm not the best with Duelist, I'm not the best with Shadow and that sort of stuff. I'm going to give you, like, what my brain says is a go-to style of build. Um, so, if something is wrong somewhere, I do apologize. I don't know everything, but I will be trying my damn best. So, I'm going to try and keep it as consistent and as simple as possible. Um, as as we can so With that being said we're going to go for an earthquake jug So we're gonna start with the very standard marauder start of going for life if you've watched any of my survival guide You'll know that I uh, adore going the life portion here because life is life percent is multiplicative with uh, Extra max life and that sort of stuff now if I was to plan for solo self found I would go through and get uh, armor and diamond skin here, and then I would get the resists here. But, since I don't really plan on, you know, you guys may not be doing this in solo self found, we can opt to do a little bit of a different style of pathing. Take a look around, let's see. We kind of want to plan ahead, so I know I want AoE, right? So I want to make my way up here for AoE nodes. I know I need Scion life. I need to make sure I get a nice balance of damage in here as well. I also want instant war cries. So this means I need to do a couple of different things. Um, we're going to go up, get Heart of the Warrior. I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do now. We're going to grab Born to Fight. We're going to go through two-handers. Come out here, down. Get the Endurance Charges. Make sure to get this exact point of Endurance Charge. Because this one is like absolutely paramount to most Marauder builds. Um, this one is 0.2% of maximum life regenerated per second per Endurance Charge. Which, when you get up to 7 to 10 charges, this thing starts to get pretty whack. It's pretty damn good. Okay, now Earthquake. I don't really need a Jewel Socket. So, you know, give or take, depending how you prefer to play. Um, but I do have... I do have an idea of what I'm going to do here. So we're going to take... Uh, do I want Barbarism? 
It's a good question. Yeah, I do. We're gonna grab Barbarism. Go out here. And I'm gonna get all the mace clusters here. So we've got two-handed, we've got maces. And I'm gonna, get, gonna come up, get res tech. What else do I wanna do? Up here, over here. Uh, war cry buffs. War cry duration. Nah. We could run rallying cry and then go war cry buff effect instead of duration. Nah, I like enduring cry. I'm greedy. Alright, so we'll go for that. Tireless for life. We're working our way up for AoE. Remember that? Because AoE on. Um, what is it? Going for AoE stuff on yield and earthquake builds are pro is normally a good idea. So we're gonna come down, get Juggernaut. No, 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 not like that. Go through, get Jug, put the point in there. Okay, we're 28, so that's fine. I wanna come down here. Unwavering Stance is debatable because Juggernaut can give you Unwavering Stance. You can take Unstoppable. But I'm not going to because I'm gonna be greedy again, so we're gonna take the one pointer. We're gonna get Warcry. We're gonna get Bloodless as well. Okay, so that should be like all of the bottom stuff that I really need. Other than I need that. Shit. Hmm. Is there any way I can get Constant Fortify? The real ideas. Because then Rampart could be a good pickup. I don't see it right now. Yeah, I think we just go here. Charge. Here. Life. Wrecking Ball might not be a bad idea. I don't know. Could be too much. It could be too overkill as well. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine in the life department. I can get more. It requires 49. Okay, that's fine. From here, we can go up. Left. Endurance charge. This is where I kind of cucked myself a little bit. I can go over. So it gets interesting. I know, Scott, but how goes things, man? We're, we're crafting six builds at the same time. For, uh, for a video right now. We're starting off with Marauder Juggernaut. How goes? How goes? Okay, um... I kinda want Devotion. I want this AoE node, though. Fuck, okay. Two, there, 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 there. I can drop that point, give or take, depending. Mmm... I like it, I like it. This is only a 64 build already, and we're looking pretty decent. And I need to go... I should get Cyan Life Cluster. Uh, Earthquake Jug is the plan. For this build, anyways. I should get Cyan Life. I can pinch out an extra point there. Can I? Not really. Is it better to go up that way than to... So I go this way, I can skip two points. Oh, this pathing is so weird and unoptimal. I could... Uh... Yeah, yeah, if you want to help out, go for it, man. Uh, the plan is to make... Um, I'll reiterate the plan because, you know, you uh, you came in a bit late. Um, I'm doing a excerpt for the survival guide. We are crafting six builds because people have asked me quite a bit on uh, to make... Um, if I'm going to be doing the survival guide style content or, like, basic build explanations for other types of classes and that sort of stuff. So, um, I'm going to craft up a build for every single class. We're starting with Marauder. And we're doing an Earthquake Marauder. Um, I plan on doing an Arc Witch, a Reeve or Lacerate Duelist. I can't tell which one yet. Probably Reeve. Um, I'm not sure what type of Ranger. Maybe Tornado Shot, Puncture, something like that. Um, uh, Trap Shadow. Uh, I don't know what type of Templar build yet I'm doing, so I'm not entirely sure yet. But we're just kind of going as we, as we go along here. It's already been fucking 10 minutes of recording. Oh my god. Jeez, we're gonna be here for a while, fellas. Okay. So this is pretty self-explanatory for a Marauder build. I want the AoE for Earthquake to make the AoEs larger. We want Endurance Charges because we're going Juggernaut. So Unflinching is going to be great. This is what the Juggernaut tree is gonna look like. The reason for that is Endurance Charges, plus one max. We get a chance to gain Endurance Charge when we get hit, which is great. Um, then we get increased damage and AoE per charge, which is nuts. Considering Earthquake is a giant AoE skill. Um, Unbreakable is just nice survivability, which is wonderful. Now, I don't plan around four because I may not get to four, uh, four points or whatever. So I'm not going to make you guys plan around four either. 
Blood magic? I could go full crazy tank, but... Nah, maybe not. Okay, so that side's pretty much done. I want to try and path around this correctly. I'm not sure where else I want to go. Honestly. Here. Combat stam. Here, here, here. This, 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 this. Grab a jewel socket there, why not? Try and go for like earthquake or AoE damage with maces, global phase or something like that. Could be all right. All right, let's kind of skip points. Did I path wrong? The pathing path is all right, but I could go one, two, three, four, five. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I could maybe skimp a few. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna save this real quick. Yeah. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna do this differently. If I go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, okay. I can skip points by pathing better. Okay, 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 okay. We're good now. That makes things a little better. Pathing on the outside frees up a lot of spare points. There was 110 before, right? Something fucking stupid like that. And then... Do I care about that point? I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, it's all good actually. Um, if you want to pop in Discord, go for it. Because I'm going to be doing this for a little while, so. Uh, this is where things get intriguing. I think this is a pretty decent start, honestly. I don't really see where else we can go for me. <laughs> Alright, take care, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for hanging out. Although, for the video, I may probably want to stay off Discord for now. Skill effect duration. I mean, 81 should be fine, honestly. Like, past this point, you're just problem solving, you know? Top left passive, and bottom left can be skipped. The strength nose. Top left, strength nose. Um, that one can't be knocked out. This one can be changed. I can put a point there to knock that point out. But, bottom right, I don't. There's a strength point there. I think I skimped as well as I could. I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I don't need that point anymore. I think we've min maxed this claim well, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I don't know. Okay, so, and then Bandit. Um. Fuck, man, that's a good question. I mean, I would probably go Alira for SSF, but for a normal type of build, probably just taking um, your boy, Oak, would probably be decent. Um, Two-handed me two -handed melee weapon damage, probably not a bad idea. We're going pure physical. Take the cluster while we're at it, why not? Um... Oh, berserking is an idea. Attack speed could be neat. Could be nice. And okay, so that's 89. Okay, so level. Let's make this 89. Bam. 4,000 life with no gear. That's okay, considering I recommend getting life on every single piece that exists on the entire planet. And now the main reason that I wanted to make this style of build the way I have is this is what the skill tree is going to look like, um, at least for the moment anyways. I'm not really sure where else I could pass, what else I could really do. For an Earthquake Jug, I think this is rather decent for a skill tree. Um, now, the reason I kind of planned the way I did is because for a weapon, we're going to run Tiebreaker. Because what that does 
So we give this a read. You get 10% fizz damage per endurance charge. As well as a shitload of fizz. And on top of that, you also get uh, endurance charge and melee stun. So our main uh, setup that we go for here is going to be in Le Weapon. Le Weapon here. Okay, skills. We want an earthquake setup. Earthquake. Let's do a Vol Earthquake setup. Why not? Well, Vol Earthquake won't really matter. Standard Earthquake. Let's do Brutality. Let's do Melee Fizz. Ruthless. Is Multi Strike worth? Maybe. I don't know. Ruthless is a kind of a gamble. Concentrated Effect. Conk Effect is probably a good idea. One, two, three, four, five. Ruthless is iffy. I don't know. Faster Attacks could be a good idea as well. Multi Strike. Multi Strike is always a gamble with Earthquake. I don't know. Main might not be bad. Less duration earthquake? Is that actually a thing? I don't know. Alright, hang on friends. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some help in a second opinion here. How it goes, how it goes. Yo, what's up man? Let's make sure you're not way too loud on the recording. And yeah, we're just uh crafting a couple builds, so Yeah, so uh, I thought they might chip in. Yeah, let's make sure you're if on. if it's desired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. Second um, opinion I was is always thinking nice. because since you went jug, you might consider dropping a resolute technique. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And instead going for undeniable, since you get access to really easy accuracy. The downside to that is that you get um, attack speed. Yeah, attack speed per accuracy rating. Hmm. Yeah, for Earthquake, you don't really care much for attack speed, you just yeah. want to hit once hard. Yeah, one time and hard and clear the pack, yeah. I can see that, I can see that. Um, yeah, that's kind of like, that's where you get to mix and match between are we going to be able to get the fourth ascendancy point, or do I take out the unbreakable point, and you know. Yeah, that's the because thing. The, un the, the unyielding node, it only starts become really good once you are heavily invested in yeah. endurance charges because yeah we're like seven deep here at this point so yeah and Unf flinching is fine but un unyielding I i'm not too sold on that one it's more i th i feel it for the aoe the aoe and the damage like it yeah. can get pretty it can ramp up pretty quick and then combine that with a tide breaker that i threw in means that endurance charges yield us a shitload of damage Oh, you're going Tidebreaker. Yeah, that was like the main gimmick that I was planning to go for. Because the Tidebreaker will just yield tons and tons of damage. True. Because then we go Tidebreaker, we try to maybe squeeze in Combs Rings, it probably won't happen, but... Even if we could, then it could be insane. Um, I guess... One, two, three, four, five, six... I mean, if we use Ruthless with... I don't know. It's weird, I'm not used to trying to scale up DPS and stuff. Oh wait, I need to, hang on. Oh, it gives fizz damage per endurance charge, okay. Uh, yep. That's sweet. Uh, that's why it's, uh, that's why tiebreaker is actually pretty mental. Yeah. Um... <laughs> it's a fucking anchor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's literally an anchor, it's great. <laughs> Beat people to death with a fucking anchor. Hook me up. Pretty much. 65% on reserve. And then we wanna do... Um, do we wanna convert, or...? Uh, uh no, I think we just do fizz. full fizz. That was kinda what I was gonna go for. Because when you're pathing down there, there are these sweet, um, fire nodes. Yeah, yeah, the there's, lava -lash ones. there's fire down at lava lash, yeah. Yeah, I was considering it, but... Trying to get, like, conversion on a non chieftain is kind of a pain. Because it means you have to go Avatar of Fire. Well, you don't have to, but it helps. Yeah, it, it depends on, like, yeah, how budget or how expensive you want to make it, right? True, true. Because if you grab a uh, Xelf's Blood... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I want to I want to make it as budget and SSF friendly as I can, so... You know, it's built, it's built for the breaker. beginner's player, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, a tiebreaker yeah. is dirt fucking cheap, so... That's true. Tiebreaker is like a 1C item, let's be honest here. 
then everything I else you can fill. I mean, uh, tonight is gonna be interesting when they release the manifesto. Yeah, the patch the notes are. Yeah, with the changes to bows, um, the, the crafting options that you have, I wonder if we're going to touch two-handers as well. Yeah, that's a good point, that's a good point. As well as, I mean, rip stat sticks, I <laughs> guess. Um, yeah, that someone, uh, Bex put out a picture or something, and it had a character named Rip Stat Sticks in it. Yeah, which yeah. Was pretty I don't funny. know if it's just, just a meme to troll people, and yeah. you know, just, or if they're really gonna do something about it. I mean, that's I wouldn't true. mind. They're pretty busted. Okay, so basic setup we've got Blood Rage, CWD duration, Durin Cry. CWD is not required, I'm fucking lazy when it comes to Blood Rage. So I like to cast some damage taken. And Durin Cry, increased duration is no, also. No, never, never do that. <laughs> I'm lazy, alright? I'm lazy. Dude, dude, it's one press per map. That's, that's true, it depends. It's a wasted socket, really. Alright, alright, fine. We'll leave that open for War Banner then. So then we have Blood Rage, Increased Duration, Enduring Cry, and then we'll have a Banner slot in there. Because Banners are coming up. So we'll leave that there. Oh, so you don't need Enduring Cry on the Jug? Yeah, you, you don't need it really. Yeah, you could go Rally instead then, I guess. I've just been used to running uh, Enduring Cry. Rally and Cry. The Rally and Cry should add some decent damage as well. It's not really much in the DPS category, but... I don't know. You can run Abyssal Cry too, actually. That's a little too meme worthy, though. <laughs> Abyssal Cry is a little too much, don't you think? Just blow up everything twice? You hardly scale it. That's true, that's true. Be fucking funny, though. Um. Hmm. What other sort of setups do we even want here? Leap Slam, for sure. What else is a pack popper? I mean. If you want something to pop packs, uh, you can always grab the... What are they called? The Fizz, Bleed, Explosion, Gloves? Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good point. Yeah, Hemophilias? Hemophilias, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just like, single slams for Earthquake is like the go-to option if we can manage that. Because, you know, we want to hit as hard as possible, but... Yeah, it seems like the damage is going to need a little bit of scaling on it. Let's see, do we have Frenzy Charges? Yes, we do. Okay, we're getting some up less this, yeah. some less duration would be nice somewhere. Oh yeah, on uh, on earthquake. So yeah, so it goes off yeah. faster. You can switch. What do you think about this okay. skill gem setup for earthquake here? What do you have? Ah, uh, brutality, melee fizz, ruthless. Just a second, I need to make the window <laughs> bigger. So all good, all good. When will maintenance be finished? It'll be up in uh, about 10, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, great brutality, mini fizz, ruthless, conk, maim. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean we could put a less duration in there as well, potentially. Um, I think you're gonna want one. Yeah, I'm just not sure what we trade out. Whether it's the Earth, conk effect. Earthquake, or... Earthquake basically requires less duration. Uh, yeah. Less duration. So yeah. it goes off faster. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel it. Like. Remove the remove the maim maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, usually, usually in type of building, when you try to add a gem, um, it's gonna list them in yeah, like, yeah, in the damage DPS order. priority. Yeah, yeah. So just check which ones. Uh, yeah, it, said, it said Maim was a, the highest one, which is a little weird. Okay. But, yeah, because I don't know if it factors in Ruthless as well or not. So, I don't know. Because, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting setup here. We have. We're missing the dex and stuff to go for like a really high level gem. Oh shit, I'm gonna have the dex to use Blood Rage actually. Hmm. Well, that's intriguing. Alright, alright, alright. Um... I mean, you could maybe skip Ruthless. Yeah. Um... I'm thinking we maybe skip it too. I don't know. You're, you're planning on one shotting with the first hit anyway. Thing is, so right? If we socket this in the weapon, all right. I need to remember to socket in weapon one because it gets uh, it's seven link. Because you get endurance charge on melee stun as a baseline yeah, I know. added thing, so it adds in some extra DPS. Um, yeah. What what would we skip out the ruthless for though? That's the thing. I'm not even sure. Less duration. Uh, oh yeah yeah um. Man. So we put Mayhem in here then. The bleed. Yeah, I can see that working. That could be alright. 
Brutality, Fizz. Yeah, okay. Um, I have a I vulnerability. Mean, you can go check POB later on. That's like, true, that's true. Whatever it says. Yeah. But restoration just makes it feel better because the delay is yeah, sure, quite delay. annoying otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh, anyway, I started a YouTube series with leveling the, the bow character that I told you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had one episode up and I recorded the second one yesterday. And then I uploaded it to YouTube. Yeah. Checked the video and it was like two hours something long. <laughs> I, and, I, and I realized that my mic was muted. Oh, no. Oh, I've done that before. Like, I've recorded whole... <laughs> Like videos the whole time, and my mic's been muted, and it's just the like. The problem oh. is that it's a playthrough, right? So yeah, uh, you can't go back. I resume, yeah, I resume episode two where I left the first one, so mm -hmm. I basically re-leveled the character today. <laughs> oh, that's so horrible. The episode. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I've done that before. Fucking done that before. Um. Okay, so I mean that's kind of like a basic style setup. I mean you can adapt this as you go. Skill tree is rather decent. I mean, the DPS could be better, but we're looking for a build that gets people to endgame as opposed to gets them to fucking shaper. You know, you can adapt this with uniques and stuff. Tidebreaker is like the only real recommendation. Yeah, uh, and you haven't set up any other items. Yeah, yet, right? there's no other items or anything in here. You get two so steel there's... rings, you get melee f or you get melee damage gloves, you get like max life on every piece. We're at 4k max life naked. We're fine. Yeah, oh, tomb, tomb fists. Yeah, tomb fists. Like you can do so much. Uh, what else could you do? Then you can get a forty um, percent damage yeah, flask and stuff too. Uh, war chiefs. Yeah, war chiefs. You could do that as well. Ball war chiefs and, and stuff. You could use. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, auras wise, I have a Vaughn blasphemy with Hail the purity for extra fizz. So. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent go-to, and I would adapt that as I kind of went on. This would oh, definitely reach you, endgame, for sure. Have you looked at Vengeance? Vengeance? Um, I tried to use it in, like, my current setup, or, like, one of my current yeah. setups, and it worked alright. I had Vengeance with life per hit, and it was, like, a nice extra healing barrier, you know? So, I could see that being an option as well. In my... Oh, no, um, uh, no, 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 sorry, what's the other... Reckoning? No, I was thinking of the curse. Um, oh, um, there's vulnerability. There's what are the other curses? Punishment, there weakness. There is one for yeah, punishment, punishment. Yeah, that was the other one that it recommended. Oh uh, man, let's take a look at. Because uh, since you're going jug, and I saw that you picked up. Um, Grant more melee damage. Oh yeah, that could be good as well. Because you because you picked up unwavering stance since every hit is basically going to trigger it, right? You're yeah, yeah. It permanent. That's true. That's true. And if you really want to get technical, you still have forty five percent on res mana. You could essence worm the um what is it? You could essence worm the fucking other one, the vulnerability. Yeah. And then you could um what is it? You could use wind screams to get an extra curse slot, and then we're talking. Then we're really talking. Because you Either get the. That, yeah. Or just run the curse on the blasphemy with the essence worm. And yeah, yeah. And go blood magic for even more life. That's true as well. You can do that as well. You just cut the Herald of Purity. And then, yeah, the essence worm. Um, that could work too as well, yeah. Because then you can take blood magic and get even tankier. And for the concept of the video, I need to explain that Essence Worm, essentially, you socket it, you socket a gem in it, and that'll become, um, an aura, whatever the gem is. And... Oh, dude. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's No, no, sorry, Cut. didn't mean to interrupt. Um, can I just... Yeah, I can just do this. So, socketed, um, gems reserve no mana, but you get 40% increased mana reserved overall, so everything else will be kind of, um, cut down a little bit. Um, we'll cut down your mana even farther, but you basically if you're only using one aura for example You can get that one aura for free and then you can take blood magic and get like bonus life without having to reserve any of your life But you do sacrifice a ring slot so you could lose out on damage you can lose out on resists You can lose out on that sort of stuff 
second Sorry. option, if you, you want to go blood magic, is the uh, the, 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 the elder necklaces that grant you non-reserved uh, curses. Uh, that too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see but that. You, I can could, see that. you would need a plus one curse somewhere then. Yeah, I was I was saying windscreen, just for like plus one curse from the boots and stuff. I can see that. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be like the basic go-to Marauder, considering that's like a half hour, and we just finished the Marauder build now. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us, but... I think that's a pretty decent go-to, or like an early start. Obviously, you'll be able to factor in like a lot of different DPS, so you can add in other items, go for more melee damage. Just focus really around fizz damage and that sort of stuff. Um... I'm not the best at scaling pure fizz builds just yet, I'm also not the best at making like ultra high damage style builds, but I feel like that could get you to end game quite easily, you can have a good time with it. And that's what really makes a difference to me, is you know, if you guys can reach like tier 10 maps and that sort of stuff, then you can try and like learn a couple of different things. You can see the the very basic synergy that comes with, uh, that comes with Tidebreaker and the endurance charge setups and all this sort of stuff, um, but I'm going to save that. And I shall put that pace bin in the description somewhere. And yeah, so we're going to take a quick vote in chat. Whoever says the next class, we're, we'll do that next class. So out of every class that's available here, we've done Marauder. So what, what class do you guys want to see next? I shall wait until someone says something and then we shall go for whichever one that is. Oh man, coffee's good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Path of Exile, 10 out of 10 Diablo. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Path of Exile is the better Diablo, let's be honest. Ranger? Alright, we're doing Ranger. Okay. So, for Ranger, I think... I'm not even really sure. I had planned either, like, Puncture, or you could maybe do, like, a basic DPS Tornado Shot style thing. We could do a Shrapnel Shot, Chin Soul. Go melee. Melee Ranger? Oh god, maybe. Sure to... I kind of want to do. A, I want to do like a basic dead eye because I know people will pick ranger to do like bow stuff. So I want to do like a very basic dead eye. What well, What is really nice uh, for ranger as melee is um, if you go. What was it? Pathfinder. Raider, uh, I think, right? No, 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 Pathfinder. Really? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see, ranger. Pathfinder, or was it that? I always mix these two up. <laughs> yeah, I guess with so. With the one with uh, extra projectiles. No, it's oh, like yeah, yeah, Deadeye is extra projectiles. Pathfinder, dead, uh, it's Deadeye. Yeah. Um, because you can go Namahoos. Oh, yeah, yeah Namahoos side. Oh, that could go, be scary. And go spin to win. Yeah, that's, that's uh, there, intriguing. And there is a super nice... And that's, it's a bit meme but it's an, there is a nice uh, interaction with... The accuracy that you get, yeah. scale accuracy and evasion. If you look up, um, fuck, what's the name of the unique? I hate Pioinia and the <laughs> item names. <laughs> do it same, do it same. Oh, that's funny. Um, it's the it's the helmet you get from Chimera, I think. Um, God help me. Um, Alright, yeah, anyways, yeah, I, I see the like, point. I see the point. It could be, like, pretty nuts to play, like, Whirlwind on it, or Cyclone on it. But I think, just on principle, because we're going for basic stuff, probably gonna go for a bow-style build. Um, I don't want to do, like, a basic bow dead eye. so either... I don't know, I could do Tornado Shot, which is pretty simple. Just take most Parage nodes, take dead eye, and just shit on the entire world. I'm kind of contemplating maybe Shrapnel Shot with double Threshold Jewels. Uh, maybe grab a chin soul in there and go to town. Um, because I did plan on actually making that as a build myself. So, I may go for something like that, actually. That could work. I'm gonna have a lot of lightning damage builds, that's for sure. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at shrapnel shot. Do you have any other suggestions? When it comes to, uh... Me? me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, I was, I was checking this <laughs> item. <laughs> No, it's all good, it's all good. I was thinking of doing a shrapnel shot, um, chin soul style ranger type of thing, because I was actually planning on making that as a build, 
So I'm thinking of going um, for something along those lines. With Dead Eye. Save it for Duelist. For Duelist? Well, I'm the thing yeah. is, right, is with this type of thing, is I'm trying to make it as, you know, um, well, simple why, as why possible. Was... So like, you know, yes. Duelist not going like, Bow Duelist for the very simple video, you know what I mean? It is simple, dude. It is simple as fuck. And the That's problem true. you have when you go Shrapnel Shot Ranger, uh, whichever ascendancy is, is for Shrapnel Shot to be good, you need Chinsaw. Yeah. You need the two threshold jewels. Yeah, yeah. And then point blank, meaning you have to be in the face of the boss all the time. And That's you cannot true. do that as a ranger because you're you'll just get gonna smacked and yeah. smacked all the time. I this could see that. You go, this is why you go Slayer. Yeah. Um, grab around like 5.5, 6k life, and you leech the shit out out of the world. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. I was do like a basic tornado shot then. You think? Or do you have any recommendations for ranger builds? I don't play much ranger, so. That's that's I mean, the thing. Ranger has access to a lot of <laughs> um, cult scaling stuff. Right. So right, you right. could go um, one of the new, like check out some of the new cult scales that might be good for next league. Something yeah, like ice shot ranger. Too. Yeah, ice shot. I was thinking something along those lines could work. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at ice shot then, shall we? Ice shot. Uh, uh. Okay. So. We take a look at ice shot here. We have. Let's make sure my face isn't in the fucking way. All right, we're good. Um, we have deals base damage, 60% converted already. Base duration converts converts all fizz to cold in a cone behind the target. All fizz, cold. Jeez. It's a path of ground ice under the target. Okay, does it have any thresholds or anything? Uh, it does. Okay, that's limited to two. Damage with hits against chilled enemies, at least 40 dex in radius. Ice shot has 25% area effect. Can you get that from... It's a drop only? No, you get an Act 5. Oh, nice. Okay, never yeah. mind, that's doable. That's not even gimmicky. That's sick. Because I'm trying to make him like, as potentially SSF viable as possible. Yeah, sure. So, I can see that. So yeah, if you can get that from Act 5, then that's easy. So we want to factor in two of those. We need 40 decks in radius, and then it gets auto pierce and AOE. Oh boy, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so I we want super nice. We want two jewels. Okay, so to start off, I think I don't know. Do we do we go at the max life spot on Ranger, or do we just go for like screen fuck style damage? And do we take the projectile start? I'm not I sure. Mean, considering you address some newer players, I would. Add some life to that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Also, you can very easily just grab um, acrobatics and phase acro. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Just to point. grab some defenses. Yeah, so I think we go. I probably go this way. Get heart of oak. Get the basic projectile damage there. Aspect of the eagles probably a good pickup. Um, mm -hmm. Finesse is a one pointer, so why not? Okay, so we need to look for jewels now. There's good dex jewels. There's one there. It's not the best though. Um, there's a jewel there. That's not bad. So if we go with that medium, yeah, you can grab the quick quick step one for for starters. Try to stick to the right side. Um, go through the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Go down, get that. You go down to the, um, what are they called? Assault. Chance to get Onslaught um, on kill. Pr primeval Force and Lethality, the bow nodes and the Ellie nodes in the bottom right corner. You go oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see that. I see and that. then you basically go straight up. Um, grab the crit nodes and attack speed nodes, like the whole, uh, almost the whole uh, shadow cluster there. Yeah. Know, like this shadow cross there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so let's knock those out real quick. So if we go, I think I want to go here, get the life down through there. We can get a, we can get an onslaught chance at three points there. I don't know if that's really worth, but... 
Um, graceful assault on the bottom there. Ten percent chance for onslaught. It just saves us a link. Go up, get a lethality. Do we want bow crit or do we want just base damage here? No, fuck the onslaught nodes. Okay, okay. Can easily throw in a flask or something. Or yeah, it's true. It's true. Slot on kill on habituals. That's not really worth it. Okay, let's put a point there. Grab the cold stuff. Get winter spirit there. I can. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wait, I can just cut this. I can cut that as well. Yeah. And then I cut that. That herbalist there. Lethality. Bam. Um, with the bow nodes in the bottom right, take the upper pathing via the two nodes, not the singular one. Uh, the two nodes, okay. Okay. Uh, and then we want primeval force, I assume? The whole cluster? Yeah. You think? Yeah, and take the upper arc both times. Okay. Not the lower one. Uh, yeah, for the extra damage there, okay. I can see that. Um, and then, yeah, that's looking pretty decent for a start here. We want the bow cluster, I assume the whole thing, or just the bottom cluster? Um, just the, up, the upper arcs. Okay. And then, time, bow when you go up there, there's the... Uh, where the jewel is, you have um, the crit cluster and the attack speed cluster. You can take both of these, the three pointers. Uh, Heart Seeker and oh, Security. Oh, okay. yeah. Aha. Okay. I mean, if you, if you want to, if you want to add in yeah, like two. one, um, Three. okay, one item that is a bit more pricey, because usually you would have to go down to the duelist area to grab yeah. some life leech and mana leech yeah, yeah but you can actually on the right hand side pass straight up um to the claw nodes grab soul raker and the one node behind it mm -hmm. soul raker. it's uh yeah oh attack one. damage leech okay i see i see yeah Yes, and then and you take the here. jewel, the jewel slot underneath it, and take a uh, lion eyes. Okay. Survivalist. Okay, we're getting some now. We're getting somewhere. Um. So only the top bow cluster. Leave out the bottom bit. Okay. Looks pretty all right. And then come up here. The bottom node for leech. I mean, we're we're basically sacrificing like five points for leech there, though. Where? To get the soul raker node there. Yeah, but these are super efficient because That's they also true. give you yeah the fifty percent leech and crit. True. true they true. also grant you crit. Okay, it's a little bit. That's an odd one, but I can see it working. Do we want piercing shots or anything like that? I don't think so, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, go grab that. Do you want, I assume blood drinker would probably be a good idea here? Mm, no, you just take the bottom nodes, um, the bottom big claw node, this is the soul breaker one, and the one behind it. Okay. Because you get increased damage from ailments with attack skills. Uh, attack skills while wielding a claw though. Yes, and that's why you take the jewel and the Suck it in, Lionize Fall. Oh, right, right, right. That's a, that's fucking smart. Hang on, hang and on. And that converts all these nodes to bow nodes. That is fucking brilliant. I didn't even think of that. Which one is it, that one? Yeah. Okay, so that will convert all of that into bow dance. That's fucking brilliant. I didn't even think about that. This is why a second opinion is very useful. Alright. Uh... That is really good. Okay, um, so from that point, now we don't need... That gives us bow damage and bow crit and all that sort of stuff now. That's fucking insane. Yeah. That is actually insane. Okay, so... Well... That's only level 45, too. That's pretty decent. Yeah, and then you can go through the life nodes to the left. Um, 
Wait, which ones? Um, from the clown notes that we took. Yeah. The dexterity node on the main path, you go left via the uh, life nodes. Alright. Blood drinker. Yeah. Okay, so now from here, where do we want to go? Is it a question? Blood siphon and soul siphon could be decent for like healing and mana recovery and stuff. Potentially. Um, traps. Mana leech. Okay, so now the thing is, we need one more jewel for the threshold. Because we've got a threshold set up yeah. there. So. Um, then take the one um, via the two intelligence nodes because you can always use intelligence on a ranger. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, good point. By the, by the clown nodes yeah, up yeah. there. I got it. Um, does that reach all of the. Yeah, it should reach all the stuff I need. So then I need to put in. What are they called? Omen on the Wings. Alright. Omen on the Wings. One. Minus two. Well, bam. Alright. And that should have 40 decks in its medium radius, which is perfect. It doesn't have to be allocated either, which is even better. And yeah, so. That's pretty easy. So those are gettable via the main story. Well, the first one is. You might have to buy the second one. Lion's Eye, uh, Lion's Eye's Fall. You will have to put a little bit of money into, but... Not very much, it should be very easy to achieve. And that's like a later down the line style of build, or style of like nodes and stuff. Leave those out until later on, but very good idea nonetheless. Okay, so now what the fuck do we do next? We need more cold damage, I could say. Cold damage, let's get the... Um, uh, is there any sort of really easy bow we should be going for? Like really basic bow, or do we just want like a... Standard style. I mean, one. if you're if you're going with Lion Eyes, you can always take Lion Eyes Fall. I think that's even getting uh, not Lion Eyes Fall, uh, Lion Eyes Glare. Oh yeah, 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 the far shot one. The far shot one, and this also has it can't be evaded. Right, 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 right. Good idea. So, okay, that's that's an option. And wait, wasn't there a cold cold ball? I don't remember. I really don't remember. I'll give Zoe a, with attacks uh, as well. Let me just go through them quickly. Yeah, yeah, all good. Then I need to make a... Nice shot. Bam. Okay. Considering the skill tree is only like 51, or requires level 51, where Ranger can get some fucking nutty damage, man. Um, Nurus Harp, but that doesn't have Fizz damage, so the conversion screwed. Yeah, the conversion would be kind of gimmicky. I think Lion Eyes Glare is probably a good option, because it's kind of cheap as well. And I've had them drop an SSF. Need, but then you wouldn't need the global, all the accuracy nodes, and you could go straight up for more, even more crits, which is a bonus. That's true, that's true. So, yeah, we can cut a, we can cut a little more as well. Um, <laughs> let's see, projectiles, pierce, so which, which nodes could we cut? Oh yeah, we could cut the acuity node there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so we can cut and that. You can grab the two frenzy charges. Frenzy charge. We can grab this and that. Wait, how many targets does ice shot pierce? Um, with each jewel, it adds extra, so it pierces six with the two jewels, and baseline... Oh, give me a sec. No pierce. Yeah, baseline, no pierce, but with the jewels, six. Okay, so you... Then it creates a cone out outward from it. Then you can leave out the piercing shots. Yeah, that's a good point. You already okay. pierced six yeah. targets, that's <laughs> way fine. more than enough. Especially considering it does like cones behind it, it'll do its own job. Do we want phase acrobatics, by the way? Yeah, you do. Okay, I thought so. I would take it. Um, we have a lot of points to, to spend. Yeah, yeah. We have quite a few points to spend, honestly. Okay, um, let's also yeah. factor in, probably going Deadeye, right? At least I would assume go Deadeye. Yeah, you go Deadeye. 
What do we want to do for the dead eye points? We want to spec about three points. Realistically. Ricochet. Realistically three? Okay. Yeah, uh, realistically three, you know, maximum four. Well, I'd say realistically three. Well, you would definitely go probably gathering wins for Tailwind, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. I kind of want endless munitions, but I think that's a little much. So, because then going far shot is kind of wasted. Dude, with the bow. Powerful precision if we go crit. Projectiles have hundred percent increased critical strike chance against targets they pierce. Oh shit! Yeah, we have we have two hundred seventy-nine percent crit. This is, this is plus plus three pierce. Uh, yeah, we're piercing like nine targets. <laughs> it's a little much. 100% crit chance. Yeah, that uh, could be a little too much, but uh, that's... Then just go endless ammunition. Yeah, I think so. Projectile speed, and you get the extra projectile. You get 50% area of effect and an extra projectile. Yeah, the AOE is going to be good on the, the cone effect on the back of Ice Shot as well, right? Yeah. And either fast and deadly or gathering winds. Right. Cause I would, tailwind is nice. Yeah, I would, I would probably go for that for gathering winds, just for movement speed and stuff. Makes you ten percent faster. I won't argue with that. Yeah. And then you put in an onslaught flask or something and a quicksilver, and you're just speeding on. Yeah, and you will be attacking so fast. Yeah. You stack it, up the, the tailwind effect even more. Yeah. Should true. be nice. Oh, you can get up to like 100%. Oh, it stacks? Yeah, okay. Gathering wins. Easily. Yeah. You can tell how much ranger I've played. Jeez. Um, but what the fuck do we do with these extra points? Because we're at level 54 and we're kind of GG. Um, and then we need the ice how, shot set up. How many too. do you have? I'm at 90 currently. 90? I'm at 75 out of 121 right okay. now. For skill points. Um, Forces of nature and the life evasion cluster. All of it. Forces of nature. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, so left down. Forces of nature, and then. Uh, vision life, the whole cluster. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, you don't, you don't need that point there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I see where we're going here. Um, now we can. Oh. Let's... Okay, so there's that. I was gonna say this clause of of pride and lion eyes fall range, but eh. I mean, um, when you go to the bottom on the right hand side where we had the alley and bow yeah, cluster, yeah, yeah. you can always path down to point blank. Yeah, for just bonus damage and stuff, right? Right, and then you also have the cluster. Yeah, there's fangs of frost down there. That could be an idea as well. Um, just path there, point blank, fangs of frost. King of the hill is that an idea you think or no? Yeah, that was the next thing that I wanted to suggest because this yeah. is knockback is just uh, like a bit of survivability in there. Right, it's a super nice. Uh, Do we want thick skin crit, or crit cluster? Yeah, yeah, crit cluster as well. Skin? That's the life node right above it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank okay. you. Sure. Do you want the whole cluster or just like the top two? Yeah, points? go for the whole one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can see that. Rather from the bottom. Um, I think that's probably kind of good enough. And then you can just kind of go for. If you want to go from there, you can probably just get like either the bottom of the bow cluster. You can get like Avatar of the Hunt maybe for bonus damage. Um, yeah. what what bandit do you think we should take on this? Um, I would go plus two. Yeah, probably. Usually. I mean, you could even consider if you want to go. If... Yeah, I could see. I could see. I mean, one. everything is an option, like right? Alira, sure. crit. Yeah. Uh, and Elirez. Do we have full conversion on this? Is the other thing I need to. Um, you get 20% from Winter Spirit. Um, you could go conversion with Uniques. I yeah, guess. there's like Crim Soros you could use if you really want to like sacrifice the slot for it, you know? 
Also, I would rather suggest you, when you start pathing, to go through the lap nodes instead of the projectile damage node. Oh, down at the bottom because here? Because currently, yeah, just when you start pathing from the ranger start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're currently at 94% life from 3, that's super low. Yeah, that's a good point. 111%, still kind of low, but yeah. Okay, I can see that. Okay, so with that being said... And, um, and you can take the first projectile load if you really want to get the damage, because it's a 16%. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, sure, we'll put the point in there. Okay, so... With that being said, we are only 78, but I think this is a decent enough tree as is, honestly. You can adapt from here, whether you want more bow damage, whether you want more survivability. You can opt for, you know, max life and that sort of stuff. Maybe go deeper into Duelist, get Golem's Blood or something, I don't know. Uh, go up higher, get some more cold damage and stuff. But with that being said, let's do the Ice Shot gem setups and stuff. Any recommendations here? Probably added cold is... Probably a good idea. Ellie with attacks. I think your internet just. Uh, your internet had this. Oh, yeah. Oh, or oh. maybe it was mine. I don't know. No, 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 it's mine. It's mine. I don't know what for, though. Mine's been fucky. Mine's been very fucky. Um, okay. OBS reconnected. Alright, we're good. Alright, alright, alright. We good still? Stream still going, hopefully. Need to double check, nothing shit the bed. Very good, the stream resumed. The problem with weird internet problems. All right, streams up, we're good. Okay, sorry fellas, internet's a bit fucky sometimes. Okay, oh, as I hit my mic, GG. Okay, so sorry, I was saying um, gem links, dry shot, what do you think? I'm thinking... Um, LE damage, for sure. Yeah, LE damage with attacks. Add cold, uh, you think, or...? Um, cold pen. Cold pen, yeah, cold pen, okay. Um, and there is uh, hypothermia. Yeah. Hypothermia... What else? I, I mean, added cold does add good damage. Projectiles, master attacks... Ellie Focus. Oh, that, Ellie Focus is like the no crit one though, right? We shouldn't really want that. Um, hmm. The struggle. Um, also, I mean, you, 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 could, you could do like a semi cold lightning thing. Possibly. If you get lightning in there, then you also, you know, get shock. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So you can go fist to lightning. Maybe. Um, yes. If you want full conversion. Then... Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. One dex node left of herbalism is wasted. All right, hang on a second. Where's herbalism? What's I spite again? Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't actually show me in the, the thing. Let me find. Yeah, I'm checking. Thank you um... for the free skill point, friend. Thank you, thank you. Chance to get frenzy charge on killing a frozen enemy. Fifteen percent. Probably just gonna use blood rage though, right? And added cold. Yeah, sure, blood rage. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, and then hatred for sure. Oh, dude, ice bite is awesome because um, we have like what five frenzies now? Something like that. Yeah, because we have two pluses. Um. So. Okay, it gives you a chance to gain a Frenzy Charge kill. 15% um, increased chance to freeze, which would be really nice shatters. True, Skills true. have 15 to 23 added cold damage per Frenzy Charge. Oh, okay. And then a okay, let me turn Frenzy Charge is on then. 69 to 103 added cold. That's actually so quite Ice good. Ice Bite yeah. is super sexy. That is quite good, that's quite good. Okay, so Ice Shot, Ellie with Attacks, Cold Pen, Hypo. We got one more link. Do we want uh, projectiles? Do we want an added projectiles? Because it's only going to shoot the one shot, I think, right? Um, we're at two now, so you could probably live with a LMP instead of a GMP. Yeah, okay. 
So you get more damage. Okay, I can see that. Should should have super nice coverage. Okay. Um. Okay, now we move on to auras. What do you think here? Hatred for sure. Hatred for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do we want to do like a curse? I mean, blasphemy. We could do a curse on hit. No, we no, we can't. Um. Well, you can go curse on hit. Herald of Ice. When you when you shatter stuff, then some oh, that's get... a good idea. Herald of Ice. Curse on hit. Now, what do we want to link the curse on hit to? You think? What curse would be the good idea here? Just the the cold redu or cold res one. Um. I mean, there's temp chains. Well, I guess, you could, you could get you could go assassin's mark to get power charges. True for crits. Yeah. Okay. Or if you want a defensive setup, you can go Warlord for Endurance and Leech. That's a good point. Let's go. Let's, so, uh, let's go Enduring. Or uh, fucking what was that Warlords? Let's go Curse on Hit Warlords Mark. That should work. Um, with that setup, Curse on Hit Warlords Mark. Herald of Ice. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see that. It's pretty good. Um, arrow, cone. Okay, blood rage. Is there any other setups? I'm thinking. Do we want like we don't want like a war cry or anything, do we? No, so. but you would probably need uh, um, cast some damage taken and warp recall. Yeah, I was thinking that. Increased well. duration. Uh, mortal call. Duration. Okay, so that goes in the bow. That's okay. You can probably squeeze in a banner here as well if you want to. Assassin, because it's not hardcore. That's true. We're greedy. Oh, fuck. Oops. Are the banners in there already? No. No, 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 no. I'm just saying we should probably leave a slot open for banners. Yeah. All right. Well, we're actually making oh, pretty good time. Good. That's two bills in almost an hour. But I should convert sixty percent. Yeah, it's so sixty. We are, so we are. We are we I think are we're at full. Eighty percent conversion. Okay, that's that's pretty we're good. We're at eighty percent. Can we convert the other twenty somehow? I don't know. Other than like a unique to give like fifty or something percent, I, I'm not really sure. Um. What does the Dicky say? And we... this this video is gonna be like two two to two and a half hours. I'm doing like every class, so it's it's a long one. And so I'm pretty much done with playing for today, just for reference. If you're if you're curious, yeah, we have uh, we have Winter Spirit in here. We have it right here. So we we're at twenty percent already, and then do we have extra conversion and stuff already? Yeah. Calx. I think we're fully con holy fuck, I just spat everywhere. Jesus. Oh we we miss we I think missed we're fully percent conversion. Did we? Where? Okay, we get from. twenty from the tree and sixty from the skill itself. Um yeah, didn't we get like a conversion node somewhere else though? Oh no, that forces of nature was pen. Oops. Oh we wanted fist to lightning, right? Alright. Um so we have fizz to cold. We could. But do we really want to do that? I yeah. Mean, you can always. The only I thing mean, is, is then... it then factors in. Refl you don't have to deal with, or the double reflect will fuck you over a little bit later on. But that's just for maps. Yeah, you're usually fucked by one reflect type. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's a hundred with no leading up to winter spirit. Yeah, leading up to winter spirit. Oh, oh no no no! It is 100% because right in front of Winter Spirit is another 25 or another 20% cold. So that's 40%. So it's 100% conversion there. Oh, true. Yeah, I know. I didn't see that either. That's why. That's why I'm streaming this, because thank you, thank you, Chris true, Baker. True, 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 You're true, true. a legend. Um, Berserker is a really reason to use Chieftain instead for War Chief. I, even, I mean, I even, it I depends. Even, I even... I even have it highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> My because life in a nutshell. To cold, and yeah. Like two red rings above these nodes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But yeah, um, depends. If you're following a build guide, generally just don't deviate from it very much. Um, but I'm going Chieftain because I'm fully converting the totem to fire. And then going for like stun bonuses and that sort of stuff. But I've seen Berserker do work as well. So it all depends on, on the build and that sort of stuff. So I can't really tell you a, a very definitive reason without taking a look at said build. Um, alright, that's that's actually turned out pretty decently. You can look or... up Yoke of Suffering. With a, with a Y, Yoke. Me or, or him? Yeah. Okay. Y-O-K-E. As an item or...? Yes. Alright, hang on. Necklace. Oh, your elemental damage can shock. Oh, I can dig that. Yes, sir. Extra free shock. All right. Uh, also, you shock. don't need the the bow bleed notes. Where did you take these? Um, which which ones? The top On of the right hand side beneath acrobatics. Um. Oh, I I thought that we said we were taking the the bow nodes there. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, there's even more points now. We're only 72. So I've made 111. What have you done? 111? Uh, here, I'll, I'll scroll out on the tree. I should be screen sharing this with this, right? No, I can see it. Yeah, skip skip the whole heavy draw thing. Yeah. And we need to grab the whole, like, um, shadow thingy. Um... <laughs> So from the topmost jewel, yeah. The laugh notes beneath. You go left. Grab notification. Notification. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, left, up or down? You think? Um, I went down for global fizz and some movement speed. Fangs of the Viper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then the upper arc, Will of Blades, Fizz and Crit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Will of Blades, yeah, I can see that. That's good. Um, do you want to go Coordination and then get Siphon yes. and Soul Siphon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Trickery. Okay, Trickery via Life, of course. Yes, yeah. and then the whole upper arc for even more elemental damage and cold hearted <laughs> calculation. Because this gives us another 20 in tech damage and mana region. Yeah, I got you, I got you. And then you can grab one arc of assassination. You can leave out one of the crit strike nodes. I mean, we can take it, we can leave it, it's like, it's optional, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, my crit strike nose, yeah, I can see that, it's pretty decent. Because, yeah, that's a lot of crit multi, 25% crit chance, it's pretty decent DPS. It's gonna do a lot of AoE and stuff, too, so, that should be pretty, uh, pretty decent there. And, alright, that is 94 Ranger, sorted. I shot Ranger that should be relatively cheap. This will be under. The only real expensive thing is probably that uh, that Lion's Eye jewel. Fall jewel. Everything else yeah. is really cheap. So, and that Lion's Eye Fall is like a kind of last resort end game type I mean, of thing. You don't so. need it. You can um, you can save this version. Um, yep. When you go to the bottom where you have the reset button. If you go on tree, yeah, and there is default, and you can say manage trees. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so you can make like a new tree for this? Oh, sick. Yes. So we can name this um, with lion eyes, fall or whatever. Okay, yeah, without lion eyes. Dead eyes. And without lion eyes, we go from king of the hill. Okay, uh, can I like copy paste it? Oh, I can. Copy. Yes, you can just make a copy. Oh shit, okay, hang on. Delete that. So let's rename that. That's 117 Lion Eyes. Uh, what was it? Uh, fall? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lion Eyes Fall. 
Because I'm without lion eyes here. Let's go for this one. Copy that and name it. So we can cut oh, out nice. that. We cut out the claw nodes and then. You cut out the claw nodes, you cut yep. out the jewel. Yep. And then you go down where King of the Hill is. Yeah. yeah. And you go to the left and grab the whole leech cluster plus the mana leech node beneath it. The life and mana leech node? Yeah, okay, I see that. Yeah, you will need mana leech. That's yeah. like the only source right now. But then it should be enough to grab that. But now we are, what, um, 10 points short? No, we're still... I'm still 94 oh, on us. At... On this run here. We're exactly on level. par here. Really? Yeah, for mine I am. Because I'm at 107 now. Oh shit. Um, 107. Ah, well, it's whatever. All right, no, I'll just... don't take that. That's, that's oh, which shit. One? Uh, the spirit the void there. The, the, okay. the spirit void. You only need the the one point bottom one. The okay. 0. 0.4 attack damage as life and mana. That's that's enough. All right, all right. And you could even go further to the left then and grab one more frenzy. And, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. And you have the option to to go for more and another jewel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <coughs> oh man. Yeah, so we'll get Golem's blood, and I think we'll leave it there because that's ninety-eight. So that should do. So we can save uh, that without lion eyes. Manage trees. What the fuck? Default rename. Yes, the lion eyes. Done. We have without lion eyes, we have with lion eyes. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. So let's give that a save real quick. And wish uh, we have Ranger and Marauder done with hour 12. Oh boy, we're gonna be here in a while. It's gonna be one long ass fucking upload, let me tell you what. Okay. So that's Ranger Marauder done with. So, out of everything else that we have left, whoever says the next class, the first, is what we're going to be playing next. Anything other than Marauder Ranger, uh, you can choose whichever one you want me to build next. Um, that leaves, what, Scion, Shadow, Templar, Witch, and Duelist. I may leave Scion out, if I'm honest. Scion, fuck. Um, I think, on principle, I'm going to leave Scion out, because you don't get Scion until, like, Act 3. So, if I were to go Scion, I'd just make a Spectral Throw build, I think. Um, but yeah, since you don't get Scion until Act 3, well, uh, Templar? Oh god, okay. Um, so, for Templar, I was thinking some kind of totem thing. What do you think? I was thinking, like, maybe Flame Blast totems? Sure. I mean, totems, uh, Templar is always a safe bet, especially yeah. since we, we saw the new shield crafts and stuff. True, 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 true. <laughs> I was thinking going Arc Totems, but then I was thinking going Arc Witch, so... If we do Arc Witch, we can do Flame Blast Templar. And yeah, I think I'm probably gonna make a Reeve Duelist. That is most likely the plan. Okay, so... Templar, let's go... Hi Where did you get the Templar, Templar comment from? Um, from Twitch. Alright. Alright, alright, um... Yeah, cause my chat shows both of them. I got the, the yeah, one yeah, that, no. the wonders of technology. Okay, so Hierophant is the Templar, or the, the Totem one, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, the wonders of technology, man. It's so good. But wait a minute, what, Nevin, what, what, what's going on here? <laughs> what's up? Oh, we skipped one life cluster that we could take, but never mind. Oh, well. It's oh, all good, we're doing six builds. They can, oh, for, well, they can forgive you're, one... You're gonna die. One, uh, <laughs> you know, problem. Alright, alright, alright. So, Hierophant is a totem one, I believe. Probably gonna want Pursuit of Fate. Haven't done totems for quite a while. <laughs> what other skill could you do that would be fun? I mean, m maybe use, like, one of the new cold skills? Ooh, maybe, yeah. I mean, we did that just do a cold skill. I wanna try and, like, yeah, even true. it out. So I have, like, a cold, a fire, a lightning, a fizz, and then... Yeah. Duelist is gonna be bleed. And then shadow, maybe poison. No, I don't know. Don't do that. <laughs> all right, all right. This hasn't been good for such a long time. I tried a bleed build like I think two weeks ago, and you're really struggling with that. All right, all right, all right. 
I mean, ju you just can't make a budget. That's that's the thing. Yeah. And okay. okay. Harder, so yeah. I was trying because un until you un get my at serious disfavor, it was just a pain. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so Templar, we're gonna probably go Hierophant, and what do you think for the the ascendancy to start, or do you want to do the ascendancy later? I, I think um, we kind of plan around ascendancy for totem stuff. Like you're on, on your own for three minutes. I'm in the <laughs> kitchen. Oh god! All right, <laughs> Templar is not the one to leave me alone on. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. <laughs> that's that's why I bailed too. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so since we're gonna go probably Flame Blast, we're gonna wanna start out. Is there a life cluster? There is a life node there. Let's take damage and mana, go up out, alley damage, come down, get life. Sanctity is debatable. We're gonna want AoE because of yeah. Flame Blast totems. You want, fa you want AoE Flame Blast? Yeah. Light of Divinity for sure. Holy Dominion kind of sucks. We're gonna try and go out the top fast if I can. Um, I don't even know if I really. Yeah, and you want you want the totem placement nodes? That's for sure. Yeah. Placement speed nodes. Um, casting stuff. Yeah. Probably could even go uh, matter. Yeah, I'm contemplating that too. So if we go mind over matter, I can go out right and then up to totems, the thing. I'm trying to decide how I get to totems here. Probably through the jewel slot. I think would be a good idea, because I'm going to go like that. Get those. Go up here. Totem placement speed. Get that cluster. Do we want placement speed versus... No, no. Not placement speed. Placement okay. speed is super important. Super important. It, it yeah. makes it so much more comfortable, especially if you come if it comes down to bossing. Yeah. When you're, it's fine if you don't have placement speed. Okay, so we want to go for um, for that sort of stuff. And it speeds up clearing as well. True, true, true. Okay, I definitely want holy fire. Avatar fire is irrelevant. I think I kind of want to get greedy with that. Okay, that should be fine for base fire damage and stuff, at least for right now. Um, By the way, are you going solo so far? Um, next league, yeah. I'm gonna be attempting to race nice. with solo so far. I'm gonna gonna do it for like the first little week or so, see how it goes. Um, and then after that, we may run a private league. We may do some hardcore stuff. I don't really know. I'm gonna try and race. I'm gonna try and figure out as much of the as much of betrayal league as we can. Um, and then yeah. go from there, so. And if you want to hang in Discord, just uh, hit me up. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, maybe not for like the first couple hours or so, because I'll be trying to do it as like a recording type of thing, explaining everything I go through, you know? But when I get to the more monotonous point at like maps where I just zone out, then yeah, of course. You can just hang out. Same here. I'm probably not even... Yeah, you it's cut out there. enough to get a date. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Yeah, we're going for Flame Blast Totem Templar. We made Earthquake Jug and we made Ice Shot Ranger so far. So up next is a Totem Templar. So we're attempting to try. We're gonna do Flame Blast Totems if we can here. So we're already uh, we're already an hour and twenty deep. That was still rather quick for two builds. That's true. That's true. We're making pretty good time, honestly. I mean, that was pretty standard, right? Like, yeah, it's about a half hour to build, bow, especially... Bow ranger, it's like... There's like one tree you go for <laughs> with minor variations. Pretty much. Grab that combat stem. Tireless on principle. Um, mm -hmm. Totem life. Maybe, maybe not. Placement speed down there. Why I, I haven't played Templar in ages. Me either, for good reason. Um, through here, grab that. So placement speed is a very, very good thing. So let's get zeal. I'm already at 61 points. Holy shit. Um, well, 90. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fucking Christ, that went fast. I'm already at 94 points? Holy shit. Um, jeez. Um, <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Yeah, I need, like, good life nodes, I think. Wait, no, not like that. Um, can I get that while we're there? Um, I don't know. Iron, iron wood is way too far to travel. As much as, like, that totem damage is really nice. It's really not worth. We could go for mind over matter. I could go mind over matter blood magic. That's a little too greedy though. I don't have the, the life to sustain that, I don't think. Yeah, don't think so. Oh, I want that. Alright. Uh, Totem crit. Ooh, wait, Where I have an idea. There, 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 there. Oh, you went through the damage. Oh, okay, that's... Okay. This could be... We could be somewhere now. This could be somewhere now. Let's highlight totem. Yeah, yeah. I have, to I have totems highlighted. Because this is gonna determine, like, half of the pathing. Mind of the matter. Mm. This placement, yes. Does, spirit, does spiritual aid actually affect totems? No fucking way. No. Spiritual aid? Yeah, it's minion no, damage. No, no, I don't no, think. Totems are yeah, I I thought that was individual. Gives you spell damage if you don't reserve mana. Ooh, that could be interesting. Get more life on this. Maybe turn into mind over matter. Yeah, we were thinking about it too. You gonna try and race while explaining? Oh fuck yeah, dude. Of course I will. I'm gonna probably put myself behind, but I I'm the type of person I don't give a shit about rank one. I'm content with like a top fifty, if I even get close. I'm content with hitting one hundred. It's my first time racing, so I want to just see how well I can do. That's the biggest thing. Is like it's more of a competition against myself than really caring about you know going up against other people. And no one else explains how to do racing stuff. So you know, a racing guide, whether good or bad, you know, is a racing guide. Not not to say that the content will be bad, but there will be always places I can improve on it. You know, but it's the sort of series I can do every league, you know. Evening, old wannabe. How goes? How goes? I was minion damage to work on you, making the whole cluster work. Oh, right. No, spiritual aid would make the minion damage work on you, so you would get the, the thing as bonus damage. That's kind of smart. That That's is kind of... If you get the spiritual aid node, it makes it also affect you, so it would give you the base damage increase. So you would miss out on the double dip for the minions, but you would still get, what, 15, 25, 45, 57, 60, of course it's 69%. You'd get 69% increased uh, player damage. Yeah, if you invest into, like, Abyssal Jewels, right? Not, not even, just by taking Spiritual Aid, going the top route, you'll get 69% player damage, baseline. Yeah. That's uh, that's interesting. I'll I want to put but the I'm, totem I'm on. I'm not first. sure how that scales with totem. No, because it um it puts the damage on you. Remember, but I don't know how yeah. well it would scale versus like totem damage and stuff. So yeah, you're right there. Cause we're 88 already, which is fucking scary. Like I pretty much have. It's not a bad skill tree. It's not a bad skill tree. You sure as hell can use the beginner's guide series. So thank you, thank you. Clear mind. Potentially, I'm not entirely sure just yet. Okay, that's it's an intriguing skill tree, that's for sure. What, 88? Okay, this actually went faster than expected. The life is kind of shitty for a situation, but... I took Ancestral Bond, so we have one... We have two totems baseline. This is gonna get five totems, holy fuck. Pursuit of Faith, Ritual of Awakening... Generate one life per second per totem, that's 5% life regen. It's damage per enemy killed by you or your totems. Oh my god, that's insane. Chance to gain a power charge when you place a totem. Gain endurance charge. Oh, you can get crit charges and stuff. 
Well, you have arcane surge. Well, okay, that's an idea. Well, the ailment immunity. Um, no, I illuminated devotion was one I looked at, and it looked kind of yeah. And and cheap. the next one is also nice. Arcane yeah, especially for totems. So okay, and let's... you have ailment Im immune. So oh yeah, okay. So I think we go illuminated devotion, arcane blessing, and then pursuit of faith. Because Pursuit of oh, Faith you, will scale you, infinitely. Yeah, but you really want Ritual. Hierophant. Um, for which one? Plus uh, one total and 50% increased placement. Speed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, this is where we have to budget around total. 3 and 4, right? Because if you go 4, then you've got that, that 4 locked down easily. AoE spell damage. Yeah, that Ritual of Awakening could make it a lot easier to play. Go, go illuminate it. And ritual yeah. awakening. Yeah. Skip I think the so. last arcane surge node. Yeah, and then we, we just get arcane surge four. from yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, if anything, you could suck at it in the fucking totem. Not that that would be the way to do it, but you could. Um, we'll we be using multiple totems support. That's a good idea, actually. There is multiple totems, and then there's the shield yeah. totem as well. Or the. Shield veiled thing as well, and that's gonna be pretty sick because mm -hmm. I'm gonna be using it in War Chief as well. One percent, one percent of life per totem per yeah. second. Mm -hmm. You can have How like. How many totems do you get? At the moment, we're gonna have what four. Was it, was we're gonna have. What was it? Seven or eight max with the new crafts? And yeah, some fucking stupid like that. Seven or eight with the new piece, plus the craft, plus you could have the chest piece, the soul mantle or whatever. So it's like. Eight, yeah, yeah. seven, eight totems, eight, nine totems. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, I think I think it's seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, it's probably in the eight it's range, I think. Cause yeah, it's plus you get two God plus damn. fuck, and you could even you can go farther. You can use inset or evolve war chief to break the cap to get an extra one. True. But fucking Christ, that's a bit nuts. Okay, well, in that case. That's that's pretty much the skill tree done already then. So we go flame blast. Flame blast. Spell this totem. Crit. Do we go crit? Uh I don't think so, not on this. Um let's see here. Control. Well then EO probably, right? Um Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, we overload could be a good idea. Okay, yeah, because I'm at ninety-one on the setup right now. Three thousand life is a little low, but we'll get life everywhere else. Um, how much percent do you have? One hundred fifty-two. A little on the lower side, but. Eh, it's alright. It's workable. No, it's all good, Keith. It's all good. Um, let's see. So, flame blast, spell totem, conk effect is probably good, but I don't, I don't want to cut AOE. Control destruction, LE focus. How much ignite do I have? Ignite's not really a factor. So LE focus. Control destruction. Fire pan. One, two, three, four, five. One more link. Oh, faster casting on totems is... N faster casting on flame blast is nuts. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. Okay, that's probably the setup. Oh, wait, no, I took... Uh, I can't take control destruction, right? Control destruction Did you go means... down to, to Ironwood? Uh, no, I contemplated it, but I didn't path all that way. I wonder right. what your, your tree looks like compared to mine. Um, I can send it to you if you want. Uh, no, I just uh, peep it on stream. Fine. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is what my tree looks like. I don't know if the pathing is the most optimal, but kind of gone for like the major big points. Got double AOE. Got good fire damage. Ancestral bond. I feel like it might be a little on the greedy side damage wise, but considering we may get up to like eight fucking totems. I just hit my mic again. 
this damage multiplies, you know, per totem, right? So. It's gonna be pretty fucking insane, pretty quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Total melee resist, combustion. Oh, you went the you went the upper route. Why did you go the upper route? You took Avatar of Fire. I didn't take Avatar of Fire. No, no. Yeah, I got the Holy Fire, and then I got Heart of Flame up there for the damage. Now I could still grab that. I would cut. I could cut the Holy Fire and just put the points in for. The way to shamanistic fury, you know, put the three points there and cut one or one, two. Shamanistic fury, where is that? Six, seven, eight, nine. I could cut eight points for three, get five back. Um, where the hell is shamanistic fury? It's the totem node beside my beside mind never matter. Oh yeah, I grabbed that. Yeah, because yeah, I could I could cut out the fire damage at holy fire and get like eight points back. Might be worth it. Not sure though. He's burning damage. Like I could cut that, put it there, put that somewhere else. Ooh, wait, shit! Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire resistance. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We're a different story. I'm at 119. <coughs> Two. Three, uh, a little bit much. <laughs> three. But it's fine. Four. Five. Oh, you took. No, you didn't take the minion node. Let's go. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh, there is more life here. Now we're talking. Now Do that now. Take these. That looks a little smoother, I think. Okay, I'm level 100. I think I should stop. <laughs> cut that point. Is there any other points I need to cut or can cut? Uh, Yeah, mine's at like 90 right now, so if I wanted to go maximum, we just go 94. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, connect. How many sockets do you have? Um, I have one right now, but there's open slots. Whoa. I, can, I can take a couple. Okay. One, two. I'm only a few points away from a couple. Okay, that's 97. Four. That should be good. Okay, I grabbed four. Four? Jeez. Yeah, 97, whatever, 90 is optimal. You know, give or take a few oh, points you, here. You took this fire cluster with area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I was either that or it was holy fire. All right, once I remember that this exists for the AoE and cast speed for fire skills, I'll make the totem speed up. Yeah, both are nice. Screw holy fire. Yeah, yeah, I cut holy fire up because it saved me the travel nodes and stuff, right? And then I got breath of flames up top there. Just casting. Pro I don't want conk effect. I had so much damage, but I want to keep it. I want to keep good AoE. Ah, fuck it. Conk effect should be okay. For 50,000 DPS per totem. Oh wait, no, this would be multi-totem support. That's what that would be. Conk effect would be multi-totem. But, um, yeah. Conk effect would definitely be multi-totem. <sighs> Jeez. 10 stages. Put it at max stages, just for the totem itself. Um, 54,000, okay. Is there any other... Boosts, probably anger for the totem bonus for fire spells. Anger. Don't know if I want curse. Curses won't really do anything. So any of the buffs. Vol RF. Would that do something? Maybe. I don't know. I'm really not sure how spell damage gains on totems. Yeah, I got no <laughs> idea. Yeah, prob probably, right? Since flame blast. We, there is one setup that we want to do, which is an arc surge linked to flame dash linked to phase run with what? A good increased duration. That should work. So that'll proc my arcane surge, which we need for yeah, yeah, the, build, the yeah. tempo thingy, yeah, the hero thingy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure which aura to go for though. 
I don't even know if Arcane Surge affects anger. Who knows? Spell totem, release mana. I mean, you have options, right? I mean, you go. Um, Ooh, Herald of Ash does actually yeah. give. All oh, right, Herald of Ash gives burn damage and stuff. Right, right, right. Okay. You can go anger. You can go defense with clarity if you run MOM. Yeah. Um. There's uh. Thirty-one. Elder jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We don't want to be going ultra, ultra deep, so. Okay, that's pretty decent. Phase one, basic setup. Probably you want a war banner in here as well, maybe. I don't know, that's a debatable point. Um, war banners are like fizz and then pale, so maybe not. Maybe, you maybe get a brand somewhere. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Alright. Hour 30 at three builds. Making good time, actually. Might be on the. Uh, I mean. It'll be like a three hour video, but shh. Uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. So, we're gonna go items, then I want, what is it, soul mantle? I'm really curious for the balance manifesto because this will highly determine what I'm going to start with. Yeah, that's a good point. Also going to a self -found. If I put the soul mantle in my chest piece, I don't need the spell totem. Which then the spell totem can become extra damage in our case. Controlled destruction is like 40,000. Oh, but I lose all crit chance. But then I lose Ellie overload, so. Mm. Combustion. Yeah. 120,000 DPS. Look at this. Fucking. This is something I'd play at this rate. This is like a Templar it's build a, I might play. I, because because Keefcon talks about penetration. Yeah, penetration. Super juicy. I played two fire builds this league, and both had were heavily invested into penetration, and it just feels so good on bosses. Yeah. Now the two Kahamas Fortress here isn't here because you know you want to play this. It's here because um, you know it's a supplement until we get the Veiled Totem modifier. Um, but it is still a good option because armor per active totem. Uh, blood magic. I don't know if blood magic is like a good idea on this build. I don't think so. Maybe we'll see. Um, actually, no, it's actually not because blood magic will make it so I can't proc arcane surge, or can I with blood magic? I don't know. Um, don't use Tukama's fortress. It's here until you get the plus one veiled mod shield. So, then weapon. Is there a totem weapon that we could use, or a fire weapon that we could use? Flame Wand, um, Flame Scepter, Dory's Invitation. Um, Balefire for the free um, Scorching Ray. That or a Catalyst. We could use a Catalyst too. What do you think about that? Either that or, or the Balefire because then you get, what is it, level 20? Scorching Ray. Oh, something like that. I don't remember. We'll just keep it on Totems for now. We'll just go with a Dory's Catalyst. And that's Bale really all you are need. Usually Super cheap. True, true. Because there's a, level, a. It's a level 25 scorching ray. Here, I'll, I'll put both in. Uh, fire. Because you want scorching ray. Yep. Because yeah, it's uh and cast speed as well for the totems and life on kill and stuff. Yeah, you so, can yeah. go. You can go bale fire and socket it with. Um, actually, you could go faster casting to stack up quicker. True. Um, true. Even get the arcane surge in there. Um, oh yeah, I can see that. Oh yeah, the arcane surge on the scorching ray. Oh, I see that yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea actually. Get the arcane surge on the scorching ray set up. I can see that. I can see that. Scorching ray. I mean, it's not gonna be your. It's just gonna be support, right, for reducing. True. True. Fire true. Res. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see that. That's pretty good. All right. Well, I think that pretty much rounds out the Templar build, which is pulling in 156k DPS, rather decent life with you know upwards of what eight totems or some shit like that. So eight times 150,000. Three at two, three times six. Fuck, that's like 1.2 million DPS at max totems. Fuck me. 200,000 times eight. Rounded down a bit. That's yeah. It's like a million DPS at eight totems. Well, it will 
lose DPS. So it'd be like eight hundred k. Also, also totem, totem Templar is super easy to level because all you need is plus one scepter. Spell yeah. Totem. Uh, what's that? Um, the fire rain spell. What's it called? Uh, um, firestorm. Yeah, firestorm, and you just go ham. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just go firestorm the... spell totem. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Yeah. You grab scorching. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. That's fucking mental. That's like eight hundred thousand DPS. That's actually really good. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Um. Survival guide Templar. Oh, man, this league is gonna be so hyped. <laughs> oh yeah, this league is fucking sick, dude. That's half a reason I'm playing totems. Because it's just gonna be dope as fuck. Okay. So, we've played... What have we, what have we made? Survival guide. One. Um, two. And then earthquake jug guide. Yep. Alright. So we are three deep. We have done so far. We're not doing Scion. Because we're leaving Scion out. Because, you know, you don't get access to it till like Act 3. Um, so we've done Templar, we've done Marauder, we've done Ranger, which means that it's Shadow, Witch, Duelist. So whoever says the, um, whatever comes up in chat first out of those three will be the next one we run. So that is Duelist, uh, Shadow, and Witch. So I pretty much have a build in mind for Witch and Duelist. Duelist, I'm thinking of going like Reeve maybe. Witch, alright, we can do Witch. Um, we can do an Arc Witch as the plan. So Save Vortex. <laughs> oh god, no, no. I played too much Blade Vortex. I played way too fucking Dude, much. Blade Vortex is so nice on which you just go elemental, you grab free Herald, and you pew pew the whole screen. Pretty much, pretty much. You can even set it up as a MF build. MF <laughs> <laughs> build. <laughs> Re Dude, I'm, I don't I'm doubt playing. it. Oh, oh, idea. Idea. But if we do an occultist Impulsa Arc Witch? Uh, 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 what? If we do like occultist, we get Impulsa in there. We arc and we make the entire fucking screen explode. I mean, Im Impulsa plus anything equals good. That's true, that's true. Although an, like, an impulse is not. What's your build? What's your build? Impulse. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like all right, you you can you can clear anything. You're good. You're fine. It has an impulse in it. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good, homie. You're fine. Yeah, that may be a little too on the expensive side. I forgot I was doing a beginner's video for a second. What build are you playing? Impulse. On. <laughs> it's like right. Yeah. So how how's tier 16 speeds doing for you? Yeah. Whatever. Just get an impulse. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, alright, well, in that case, it's a good point, right? Um. Alright, well, maybe a cultist isn't the best idea then. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Okay, so we're probably gonna go just self cast arc, I think. Um, so probably start spell damage. I mean, what you could go with. Occult. Curses, occultist, molten strike. <laughs> Molten strike. <laughs> but that's on the expensive side because you need a watcher side. Yeah, that's go, that's a little much. Yeah, you go yes and you get yes on, on hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just go ham with multi strike and triple curse. Jeez, that sounds like a fucking Keith build. That sounds like a Keith build. Alright, we're gonna probably just keep this kinda simple. Go out spell damage, get spell damage, lightning walker. Um, <laughs> where's lightning damage bonuses? Over there. Life. Oh, uh, I was testing the shrapnel shot slayer with, uh, shrapnel, uh, shrapnel shot slayer with shrapnel shot. And, um, I actually far farmed my chisel. Yeah. I got a second, I got a second threshold jewel to draw. All on solo self found. Nice. And, and then I found an impulsor. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's oh fucking brutal. The shrapnel <laughs> shot one, too? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you fucking... Jeez. I wasted, I wasted my RNG for Beach Patrol. Yep, yep. Eagle did the same thing. He had a... He had a doctor drop or something. I'm not gonna play that build, I guess. 
Uh, used all of his RNG. Oh, you cut out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he used like all of his RNG, like right off the bat, so. You're getting excited about that occultist? Yeah, it seems a little bit. The, the one that I said, the triple curse one? Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, the, the Molten Strike build. Hey, man, how goes? How goes, fellas? All of you on Twitch. You, uh, my videos got you back in the Path of Exile, which you could never really play. Well, thank you very much. I am glad you uh, enjoy the game. Hope it uh, is going well for you. We're currently doing some build creation. We've made a... We're trying to make a build for every class. We are three deep at a half hour per build. We're making decent time so far. Um, we have this one and then two more to go. So should be around a three hour video, which is going to fucking hurt me to render, but... Sh yeah, I may not be able to stream tomorrow, depending how uh, how long this goes, but we'll see. I have a couple videos to do still. Okay, um, Arc Witch. Let's see, what are we doing here? One oh, um, I'm guessing you already finished your 24 challenges, right? Yep, yep. You made that. Ooh, Betrayer rewards. Dude, yes, yes. I want the 36 cloak, may make me go for 36. I doubt I'm gonna get 30, there. 36 is easy usually. That's, it depends. I, I mean, I I, got, I didn't plan for it, so you know I got well fucked. If you're if you're planning to race anyway, just you know go a little bit ham like yeah. this league. Um, I did 36 myself. Yeah, yeah, like, true. I, I didn't get any from like uh, global chat and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so where did my one, two, three. Like path through there differently though. Right. The real questions. Um, there, there is decent. There, there. Lightning damage. Self cast arc witch just pretty much shits on everything without really having to try. Two, three. Static blows. CI. Yeah. Arc is also a nice skill by itself. True, true. I mean, I'm playing an Arc Trapper right now and it just shits on the whole world. Yeah. I know exactly the build I'm gonna make for, uh, time to try out that Ranger build. All good, man. I know exactly the build I'm gonna make for Shadow. I'll have it done in, like, under 15 minutes. SOS Freeze Pulse Traps. That is the plan, because it was something I actually wanted to play, but then it didn't work, so I was sad. Freeze Pulse Traps? Yep, with, uh, Cyrus Shards. <laughs> Just make the entire world fucking explode. <laughs> I wanted to use Cyrus Shards with, um, fucking Arc. Arc Traps. But then I put it on and it didn't work. And I was so sad, because it wasn't a projectile. It made me a very sad human. Okay, um, AoE is irrelevant for Arc. Right for Crackling Speed. Alright, hang on. Oh, that's a lot of words. Yeah, yeah, I got Crackling Speed already. We're kind of just going like flat lightning. Hang on, let's. <laughs> lightning damage and shock effect. We want LE overload for sure. Might as well get Stormweaver because we're here, sure. And then from this point, we do have most of our lightning stuff. Unless we want to do... I don't think this much of a path is... I think that's a little too much. I, mean, I could probably do it anyways, but... Mm. Okay, hang on. There, there. There, 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 there. I actually really want my art to leak next league when I'm going solo self found. <laughs> I did three shaper runs this league and got two flasks. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I didn't manage to get my character to shaper, sadly. No, you didn't? No, no. I was real close, though. I was 14s. I was on 14s. I just ran out of time. That was all. 
Oh, that, oh you mean the... Screwed you. Yeah, yeah I got uh, RNG. Kind of fucked me a little bit. Um, I'm torn on if I but take... I'm sure that, that's that, that you would have taken him down. I mean, Blade Vortex Chieftain. Yeah, yeah. He, uh... I think he guaranteed would have killed him. I killed two Elder Guardians with no real struggle. The next two days, yeah. I may just buy the fucking maps in Standard. And just do it that way. Yeah, just try it. And just see how it goes, so... That's probably what I'm gonna do over the next two days or so. I'm already 52. That's not bad. Um... Okay, is there anything else I really need? I feel kinda greedy going to this side, but... Yeah. So it's a... Doing like massive pathing outwards feels a little fucked. How much life do I have? I need more life. Badly. Should be the next set of stuff. <laughs> I mean, melding is a pretty trash node. It really is, but it's right there. One, two, three. Minion life. Dude, which has like no life beside it. Holy fuck. Nope. You already have flesh. Life. This is like way too greedy to do this, isn't it? It's gotta be. Why? No, I'm just I'm thinking here. One, two. That's I mean that's... needs life, a no brainer. Yeah. Okay, that's 172% at 83. I mean, that's a bit of a fucked skill tree, but that's a that's the weirdest skill tree I've ever planned, I think. But it kind of works. I don't know. I feel like going right may be the better option, but let's put arc in here. Cast on death arc. That's cute. Spell Let's echo. Skip the jewel socket. Focus. Going to the silent life wheel. Oh yeah, good point. Good point. Heli focus, control destruction, um, arcane surge, one, two, three, four, five. And added lightning, let's take lightning pen. Oh, fuck, 88k DPS, nice. With a double cast as well. With no gear. And we're level, what is the plan? 84. I can get like one extra point somewhere. Are you in Spell Echo with Arc? I'm contemplating it, I'm still... I don't think that's the best option. I don't really think I need it, but... It could get pretty Doesn't shenanigans. Doesn't that have like a... Like a minus multiplier? Does it? I'm not sure. I mean, we can I switch that up. Faster casting could be a good option too. Yeah. I would stick faster casting, man. Or even just something like pure damage-wise. Yeah, added lightning as um, well, you think? about do you have sort by sort by dps yes you yep. do yeah yeah um or just straight up added lightning or some yeah, shit yeah yeah innovate right. might even be something maybe maybe ooh empower take the empower and go to four. Oh jeez that's a little much and... well even with a three probably empower on all spells <laughs> yeah, the Empower puts us up to like 80k. We have the strength to pull it off too, which is even scarier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, the 6 link setup. Okay. That could work actually. Okay, so, well, from there. From there, well, I we. Guess empower is only worth it to get it to 4, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. Because Empower at what? 3? Well, 3 is not that bad either. And 3 is pretty cheap. Well, debatably cheap. Um, for the reasons of the build, I'm probably going to go with added lightning, but empower is probably a... Empower 4 is a good idea as well. Just for build simplicity, we're going to go with that setup though. And then... Okay, skill tree is pretty much done. I have two open jewels. I don't really know what to put there. Let's go... 
to sort by DPS. <laughs> See how this goes. Well. Well. Soul rest, calm down. Reverse red limb. I don't know if I use wands. If I use double scepter. If I use scepter shield, I could use scepter shield too. Oh, double moon sorrow, no. Maybe though. Double moon sorrow is not bad. You can be greedy, fuck it. Double moon sorrow is cheap. Double moon sorrow is real cheap. Sort by name, leave it like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd recommend rolling wands, but if you're not gonna spend the time to roll a two set of wands, double moon sorrow is decent ish, it should be fine. But that is, uh, that's how it be, that's how it be. Um, is there any, like, lightning sort of arc sort of stuff that I care about? I mean, we're at, like, decent. What's my level? 84. What's my life like? 3k. No actual good max life. Uh, you know, impulse stuff, you've got the money for it. If you want life. Could you, could you manage this? You're missing the decks. Fuck. Honestly, you just take life and get lightning everywhere you can here. Door. Mutation, lightning damage, leash of life. Put on a Dory's invitation. That's like... That's dirt cheap. You just get a tabula and the chest piece. Um, you can go with the Ash shield. Oh yeah, okay. Ash's mirror, or...? Um, no, the base one. This is vision. Um, I mean, it's it's super nice for clearing. You can have the, the clearings. Add lightning damage for each shock enemy you killed recently. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, shock reflection. Interesting. Interesting. All right. I mean, that's pretty basic. Pretty basic items. Don't really want to go too far on the atomization. Is there any sockets or jewels you would recommend for like a lightning style build? I mean, you had you had pen in there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's lightning pen in there. Oh, you mean like uh, aside from that? Um, you can always go. No, like jewels um, and stuff, like unique yeah, jewels or yeah. anything. Um, orb of storms, power charge on crit, curse on hit, something. Right. Yeah, we could do something like that as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Productivity. Does ha can Herald of Thunder apply curse? Yes. Aha, okay. But only while clearing, you're gonna miss the curse on bosses. Right, that's true. That's true. Because you need to kill a shocked enemy for Herald of Thunder to activate and zap enemies. That's true, okay, so Herald of Thunder, Curse on Hit, wait, then I'm, my control, or my Ellie Focus, then I lose the shock chance, I think. Calcs, what's my shock chance? Yeah, I lose all shock chance, I think, fuck, okay, well in that case. Fed Ellie Focus. 71% chance to shock. Alright, what if I put it back in? Is it just straight up gone? Oh yeah. Ooh, what's my VPS lost? Cast while channeling? How does that give me extra damage, right? Alright then, sure. Got a faster casting setup. More lightning pen and marker submission. Maybe, maybe. I was, I was thinking this type of setup here. Whoa. And then... Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Um, is there any other auras that would be of note, you think? Um, just a second. Um, yeah. I almost burned myself with boiling water. <laughs> right. Oh, Wrath could be a good idea there. 25%, that's a little much. Yeah, the Thunder, Prism of Conductivity. Wrath, 
Russ may be a little too far. Yeah, Wrath may put it down a little too much. 25% mana could be kind of a predicament. I don't know. Wrath uh, and Lighten. 29% freed up. I guess, I guess, I guess. It's okay. Then you add in, of course, defensive layering and stuff with like a mortal call, increased duration, etc., etc. Um. Mortal Call. Increased duration. Something basic like that. I mean, what you could do, since you're running a shield, you could get... Um... <sighs> What's it called? Tempest Shield? Oh, and Curse yeah. Hit? Yeah, okay, I can see that. It's set up for double moon sorrows right now, but yeah, if I were to use something like that, that'd be pretty good too. And dash, faster casting. What was it I was gonna go for? Faster casting. I don't need arcane surge anymore. Just a simple setup like this could be okay. But I guess the tempest shield thing is better on like at least a little bit block invested characters. True, 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 true. Okay. Um. Mortal Call, okay, nice and simple. Nice and simple, 140,000 DPS. A little low on the life. Okay, life re leech on hit. A little bit of regen. Maybe throw in like an Immortal Flesh. If you want to stay a little bit tankier. Get some nice life in there. Um, you've got life regen from the Dories here. It's going to be a little on the squishy side, but it will shit on the entire fucking planet, guaranteed. So, that is a very interesting one. Go for life in every slot. You know, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory there. Let's save that, and let's go Arc Witch. Survival Guide. Okay. So, pretty decent. Pretty decent. So, out of the last two, we have Shadow and we have Duelist. Whichever one gets in chat first. I know what I'm going to do for the Shadow already. And I believe I may play Reeve Duelist, potentially. I know Shadow is going to be Freeze Pulse Traps with SOS. Very simple, I can basically copy my Arc Traps and just move it from Lightning to Cold. And then put in SOS Profit. Duelist? Alright. Well, Keith, you're here, so... You are here perfectly in time to do Duelist with me, because I have never fucking played this character. At all. I know that... They're gonna get some stupid stuff. Um, okay, which one's what? That's Slayer. Um, <laughs> new changes to cold damage over time. Do you think Blade? Do you think Vortex builds will be back on the upswing? Uh, like Blade Vortex or like Vortex Vortex? Because Blade Vortex has always been good, but like I don't even know what Vortex is. I haven't played long enough. <laughs> and Reeve Duelist, yeah, okay. I, that's what I was probably gonna go for, anyways. You think Slayer or I think you have Fortify as a champ? Yeah, okay. Unstoppable Hero, Fortify. Adrenaline on low life. Holy fuck, inspirational. You want elemental one or pure phase? Pure phase. Pure phase. Mm, I think since we're playing so uh... oh, for the for the champion? Yeah, we're gonna go. Reef. Elemental 100%, dude. Is it better? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Maximize clear speed with Reeve. Uh, I, I mean, mean, I'll leave that I up mean, to you guys. I honestly don't know. It, I don't know Duelist. It depends. It really depends what they do with stat sticks, but... That's true, that's true. In, in general, or as of now, Elemental is way stronger. Impact. For Elemental? Yeah, okay, we can do whatever. It's up to you guys. Cause yeah, Duelist is not my my uh, you know my forte. So we definitely want. Oh, okay, so for ascendancy, do we want champion as well for Reeve? I'm not even sure. Yeah, Slayer is more two hand based. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can also you can always 
Gladiator, but Gladiator is kind of not at the moment. Yeah. Elemental Reef and champion with, it is. All right, I'll take it then. And with with Reef, you always have the option to switch for bosses to Blade Flurry. True, for true. single target. Um. Okay, so Fortitude for sure, and then I assume we're probably gonna go this way. That's like max points. So, yeah, I'll probably make that max points like that. Although. First to strike, last to fall is normally pretty good, but you can get adrenaline on the, the banner now as well. So, yeah, champion is gonna get changed, so yeah, that too. That too. Okay, maybe we don't want to do champion then. I don't know because it may change a little bit. I don't know if it's getting nerfed, if it's getting stuff added to it, like what's going on there. Gotta move right. How so? Situational is okay, so you can find some. Oh, he just meant on the tree in general. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, to go for the alley stuff on yeah, the right side. Yeah, you go up to the shadow, similar to the build that we did for uh, the ice shot one. Yeah. You take almost exactly the same stuff because it's also elemental crit. Yeah. I don't know, I do kind of want to make duelist fizz, so then we have like the two fizz options, but yeah. I don't know. It's true fizz, man. Yeah, fizz seems to be a little bit underwhelming compared to alley and stuff. You can scale so much higher with L. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, I mean the the auras alone. If you get Herald of L and Hatred, you get two more gained as extra. Yeah, that's true. And what do you what do you get on physical? True, true. Okay, so. Haste. Uh, wow. <laughs> do you take the node cluster buff fortify? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try and get uh, Rampart. As fast as possible. All right, so for ascendancy, which way do we want to go? You think? Obviously, we want fortitude. We want. I think I may just take inspirational as the one pointer and leave it be. Dual wield and not. Uh, um. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Really. I don't know. What do you guys think? Dual wield or two hander? If I was playing Reeve, I would probably play two hander, but that's just me because I like two handers. Um, I know Duelist with Dual Wield is better for most people, and most people prefer Dual Wield. Um, the Marauder build that I made was Two-Handed Fizz, so we can go, we can go, um, Dual Wield, Ellie. Whichever one you feel better making. This one will be up to you guys, I think. Because Duelist is not my forte in the slightest. Not really my kind of class. Although I haven't just, I haven't played it yet. Faster with Dual Wield, yeah. I've seen... Reeve do some pretty fucking insane numbers. So I've seen some insane numbers. Alright, so which way do we want to start going out here? Left side. Do we want attack speed? Attack speed with dual wielding? Yes. Um, well, usually you start off with, with the... Jeez. <laughs> probably not claws. I don't know, probably swords or axes, something like that. Okay, um, I would probably go this way. You do a crossover usually from Duelist. You start with the two physical nodes, and then you take, go to the middle for life evasion. Okay. Continue to the right, the, the life evasion node below, and then you go through the attack speed node to Art of the Gladiator. Mm -hmm. Oh, attack speed while dual wielding? Or, yeah, okay. Dual wield damage, attack skills, okay. Okay, something like that. And then, where do I want to go? And you go to the left, grab Master of okay. through the life nodes. Oh, was a two handed cluster there if we were to go two handed. That's pretty good. Go down through there. But otherwise, probably go for Golem's Blood, yeah. Like yeah. That. There's an Axe Cluster literally right there, that's pretty decent. Golem's Blood. Probably the Jewel there. Rampart. Um, Two-handed. Is there a dual wield cluster here? Also for the Jewel next to Golem's Blood, there is a 
what it's it's like a really thing that you can consider like if you're going to the right you're yeah. gonna grab a lot of dex nodes so you grab the jewel through the strength node and if you're going to the left you get a lot of strength nodes so you grab the jewel through the dex node yeah i can see that mm -hmm. i would assume yeah you probably don't want blade barrier Ambidexterity is probably decent pickup. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. Um, we look pretty decent at the start here so far. Um, do we want Hatchet Master? Do we think? Are we going axes? Are we going swords? What are we doing? What do we think here? Um, I will skip that for now. Yeah, weapon choice later, I think. Um, Hema. Hema. How the fuck do I say that? The one below Rampart. Life, uh, life Leech. Thoughts? Um, only you usually only take that if you also invest into vault pact. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, vault pact is like right beside us, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's intriguing to put it lightly. Vitality void. Okay. All right, and then we aren't pure fizz. That's true. That's true. We're going. Um, alien stuff, right? So, <laughs> right. So from here, and thank you guys both for the uh, for the help as always. You guys are the best. Um, <laughs> we're gonna use perseverance, so that note is kind of meh. So if we're gonna where go, where, where the fuck is my tele? <laughs> Um, it's bottom right above iron reflexes. Want to convert to all cold damage? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about. Sure. I don't know about cold damage. Um, I don't really know which element would be the best. If I'm honest, I don't play much duelist, so I really don't know. Uh, I mean, you usually go for cold damage, as Keith says, because you can get hatred, which is. A oh more yeah, that's a good point. That's a good around. point. Yeah. Okay, so then I know from there we want to get Fangs of Frost, we want to get, we want to go up, get fucking Winter Spirit, we want to get Primeval Force, by going up, not by going down. Um, that's, that's, you basically go. You cut out a little bit there, sorry. Oh, I just said that from the... Um, bottom part of uh, Duelist, you're basically gonna go all the way right to Ranger and Shadow. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Okay, um... Twin Tamers, hang on. It's, uh, two clusters. Um, Brutal Blade and Fatal Blade. <laughs> um, are we gonna go Crit? What do we think here? Or... As a champion? course all right all right um so in that case twinters fencing what the fuck is fencing fencing aha okay yep um yeah definitely want to go up the top route for crit there yeah i guess for I mean, freeze and shatters and stuff it really depends like in the end do you want to go towards or do you just want you know like a basic yeah that's built that's true that's true okay um <laughs> so we've got the basic cold damage stuff yeah definitely want that i mean swords has the advantage so um sword notes on the left yeah he's got um in the marauder area somewhere yeah yeah so... We couldn't do a cast on crit for some sort of ice spell. Oh yeah, cast on crit's getting reworked next league or something, isn't it? I don't remember. Okay, they changed it to be nuts now? Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to go for a little bit on the simple side, but... Oh, yeah, there's a sword note for Fatal Blade right there. That's a good point. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that afterwards. We'll decide after. Um, hmm. Okay, so we want cold... How the hell do we get full cold conversion though? Do we use um, the upgraded Trim Sorrows or I would assume that's where we go for. 
Okay, see. Don't necessarily okay. need to go full conversion, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I mean, for for swords. Um, did I do this right? Let me just okay. check. Jeez. This light. All right, trim burns. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I thought so. so good. That's what I figured. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so from that point, we kind of want cold and dual wield, right? Weapon artistry is kind of shitty. Let's just go cold. How the fuck? <laughs> there you go. There's a pathing for you. Just straight up end. Jeez. You know, I think I might actually have to do that, don't I? Is hatred and it's enough? Oh yeah, hate. Does hatred give enough damage? Probably. We're already 45. Jeez. Kind of nuts. 72% rampart bloodless. Ooh, I have an idea. If we go swords, I can go up this way, get that sword cluster, get that sword cluster, go up here, get that sword, that sword. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, fucking, we're doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Let's go. <laughs> we're making a weapon specific build. I've got something for you. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're making a weapon specific build, fuck it. Not weapon specific? <laughs> no, we're we're or going weapon specific, weapon -specific. Yeah, we're going sword. swords. Yeah. yeah. I, I just read all the clusters and stuff and there's like two really close sword clusters and oh yes. Um you can almost do axes as well because you have the other axe clusters and stuff nearby. I well gave you the pacemen. Pacemen? Alright, yeah. I'll uh We'll take a look at it. Why are you no copy this? There we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, let's give this a save real quick. Um, mm. Basically the same thing. Yeah, let's do a list guide. Let's back out and import this, shall we? I mean, it's 95, but, you know, whatever. There's just life to get. Alright, yeah, go up there. Get crit chance, that's a good point. Get the jewel socket. Bloodless, that's a good choice, yeah. Um, yeah. Vitality void, up through there. Oh, yeah, it's better pathing than what I did. That is way better pathing. Twin Terrors. Thick skin, that's yeah. And you also have the life. I mean, what um, on the sword. left hand side next to the sword nodes, there's the life cluster. You could take that instead Juggernaut of the stuff? life yeah. instead of the life evasion stuff from Ranger Star. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, um, yeah, it depends on if you go for like the armor chest piece and stuff, right. Now look, that's pretty. That's pretty much what I would go for, honestly, because then Heartseeker for crit as well. Um, yeah, that's like a that's a GG skill tree. It's pretty much perfect. Let's uh, let's save that, or let's save it now as. And we need to come back and get all of these fucking pay spins later. <laughs> Redo this PLE build. Uh... Oh god, I, can, I need to make sure not to like sit right here on my fucking thing or else I have like this giant fucking strip down my face. Fuck that shit. Alright, alright, alright. There's swords you can get two Ichimanjis and become a buzz of death and crits. We're trying to go for somewhat cheap, so with we're dual wielding swords. Is there any very specific swords? Any slot, weapon one, any type sword? To melee. Did they sword. fix the Atlas or did they not? Fix how so? They changed a couple of things. There is still a tier 9 connected to a tier 11. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what? There's a, there's a bad 9 11 joke yeah. there somewhere. 
that I don't really have to go searching for, but you know. Yeah, there's one connection that goes to from tier 10 to 11. And if you path the bottom part, it's to tier 9 and to a tier 11. Nice. Like, what the fuck? And this is, this is the updated version where people were already complaining about it. <laughs> smooth. Fucking smooth. To figure out a way to deal with accuracy, this is good. Yeah, it might have, uh, it might have accuracy problems. Oh, 80% hit chance. It's all right. I was I was wondering for the um, championship because it's um hundred percent chance to taunt on hit. Yeah, true. So um, um, you left out. You have fortify, by the way. Yes, on purpose. Okay. Because I went with inspirational for the banners. Oh um, yeah, banners will be yeah yeah. That's a good idea. Or you could go adrenaline that is shit, and fortify is so easy to get, especially um, like later on where you could have a corrupt fortify on hit. Yeah, that's that's true. That's and true. stuff. So so yeah. yeah, sure you could get it in the beginning. Yeah, and then just spec out of it later on. And then just spec out of it and take something extra. Yeah. Also, inspirational is going to be changed for banners, so I'm guessing that it's going to be rather good. A Volreve exists? Oh god, you know what? Fuck it, sure. Yeah. Could put normal Reeve on, but. Okay, added cold. Um... But Volreve has the only benefit that increases your AoE. Ah, oh, okay. Because Reeve. With Reef gains four stacks, and with every stack of Reef, you get more AoE. Oh, and nice. Val Reef can stack up to eight. Jeez. So, so if you Val Reef and then continue with your regular one, you maintain the stacks. Yeah. yeah. So you're just That's you're amazing. covering like half of the screen. Yeah, ban banners are gonna be fucking mental, and I love it. Okay, do we want just like two basic crit swords, two rapiers or something, or um, two jeweled foils? I, mean, I think right. A nice, a nice starter sword, um, unique wise, is Hans Might. <laughs> oh yeah, crit chance minus frenzy charges. A oh A O E yeah. Um, I don't think we have this. We're 10 strength away. That's doable. That's doable for sure. Um, we don't have any extra frenzy charges. So what we can do is we can run. We can cheat this. We have minus two frenzy charges, and then well, we have no frenzy charge gain actually, right? Yeah, I mean like the super basic element um, weapon setup. That just for... means no blood rage. For pseudo statistic, no, you still run Brother Rage, whatever. No, you, you never run two on spites, you don't do that in dual. Okay. Um, the second one you take is the Elder Unique Mace. Um, fucking PoE names, man. Oh, yeah, you can stat stick the Eve, offhand, right? So long as the sword's <laughs> in the main hand, right? That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid, and I love it. All right, hang on. What's the elder, elder <laughs> you me. Um, unique Nebulok? Nebulok, yes. Um, jeez, that's extra fire. Oh my god, per endurance charge. Yeah, but Keith, we can get crit from from items. Like, you you can you can get a uh, a law weave. And suck at your main skill in there, so you you get ba base crit, and then you can always push it further with better weapons than the starter unique. Uh, yeah, we can try. Let's put that in there. You get like a nice nice uh, jewel foil or thing that high base crit. Yeah, trust me. We, we we know all about totem gems. We you, we made an eight temp or an eight totem flame blast templar, literally earlier. So, um, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on Reeve, we put in... Let's see, melee phase, multi-strike, ruthless, concentrated effect, probably. Why add it fire, though? No, you go fist to lightning. Fist to lightning. Or more elemental conversion. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, is that the setup we go for, you guys think? Fuck. It's actually got okay DPS. Don't, um doesn't ruthless exclude elemental? Oh no, that was No, brutality. that was brutality. Yeah yeah. But the ruthless is kinda of wasted. Uh, yeah, it's it's for the multi strike, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of ruthless, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you could do that, sure. And we with the taxes here, too, you think? Do we leave the multi strike in? I mean, you should have enough attack speed later on. That's true. Especially, especially if you grab adrenaline as a champion, you have such a high attack speed, you don't really need multi strike. Yeah. And it only only locks you in place for. You, know, you, you get the animation lock. Yeah. Um, increased crits. Hmm. I mean, what you could do is run a uh, um, um, shroud of the chest, so you get uh, Ellie pen. Possibly. In general. Oh yeah. Okay. Then you hmm. would need. Oh, what would you skip? Yeah, we're, we have a five link now. Fist of Conk, Ellie damage protects melee fizz, or you. Yeah. And run that in the Shroud of, Shroud of the Lightless. Shroud of the Lightless, alright. We want to try and make sure that it's not like ultra. ultra fucking expensive too, remember? Yeah, Shrouds are. I don't think oh, the Shrouds are that expensive, right? Has two Abyssal sockets. Oh, hello. Flexor sweater by 20. Ellie pen? Oh my lord. Um, all right, well. Um, <laughs> and then there's those, socket it in. Body armor. Oh, I mean, theoretically, you, you can even farm Shroud of the Light. It's all the self found, so. True, true. Just, I think there's, I think there's cards for it and stuff, right? That, and you, you could run Abyss this league. Like, on every yeah, yeah, that's also true. You can like spam and farm abysses every... and stuff. Yeah, and like on every zone, you get a bis, a bis, and I had it to suck at everything. So yeah, yeah, these are all uh, builds aimed at a new league. So we have one more, and then I've made one for every single um, class. Sorry, what you cut out there for me? No, no, it's all good. I'm talking to. I'm talking to You're stream. gone. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. <laughs> yes. All right. We're good. Um, and then we can still run Blood Rage, so we want Hatred with Herald of Ash. Herald of Ash. Um, do we want Enlighten? Probably, just for mana. Put that in like a weapon slot. Yeah, I guess. Enlighten? Um. No, you don't need that. Yeah, okay. You have so much damage that the. Uh, well, I could use AoE on are... the Ash. Well, that might overcap my. No, 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 you don't do that. What else do you think we put in this setup here? Warcry? Well, th those can be singular link. They, they don't need to be linked. Okay. Um, yeah, For example, can you can here. run them You can run them in a Tomb Fist. Uh, right. Tomb Fist. Oh, yeah, because if we're using the. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you have a two suck and tomb, tomb Fist okay. for the Intimidate and. To put hatred and herald of Edge in there, so you don't even need to link it. Yeah. And the 800k DPS uh, flame totem Templar, surprisingly, as much as I hate Templar, um, does sound quite funny to me. That's the one that I'm looking forward to seeing someone try the most. That's one of the builds that it's like, holy yeah, shit! Especially we, with, we the, with the quality of you get this league, right? That yeah, yeah. Totem placement shouldn't be like that much of a hustle as it used to be. Yeah. Add increase critical I... strike chance. Um, I can increase critical strikes. Let's try that. Oof! Jeez, fifty percent crit chance. That's a lot. Many crit. Wow. Well. Yeah, and if you want to go more defensive, you just go for a. Uh... 
for long if that could maybe oh, we're we're bugging out I don't know Great from from low elemental damage with attacks I think yeah I mean like weapon elemental damage stuff and you get flat fist yeah it pro probably will low weave All right. Always just just so busted. <laughs> Lore Weave is like really good. I mean, Lore Weave is Lore Weave's cost a decent amount though. So yeah. I never bought one. I always farmed it. Yeah, you can just ring farm it and stuff too, right? So it's give and take. Um. All right, that's like hundred thousand DPS. Shroud of Lightless, Hatred, Herald of Ash, Blood Rage. You know, standard defensive layering type of stuff. I mean, regular Tomb Fists with. One cost like what? Four C. Yeah. So I'll throw like those that. in. Click intimidate. Tempest. Um, intimidate enemies for four seconds. Where do I? Oh wait, yeah, in configuration. Frenzy charges. I will have two frenzy charges. Do you have four to five? Probably. Um, is the enemy... um, Keith, Herald of Ash is actually better because you get Fizz as uh, extra fire. Yeah, that's true. If we're going like all elemental than... and stuff, then it gets... And you, you already get the Shatters because we're running. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's like 150,000 DPS. That's... that's like Dece as is, if I'm honest. All right, now shade form, and then you do your standard kind of defensive layering type of thing. Um, you put in murderous eye in there for intimidate. Pretty yeah. easy, pretty easy, and that's I pretty mean, if, cheap and too. If you, and if you really want to just uh, play with an abysses, <laughs> oh god, yeah, <laughs> that could be a little too, a little too much, a little too much. Um. By the way, did you take that we have endurance charges for the nebula? Uh, no. All right. Um, we're at what's that total DPS? 163,000. Okay, that's pretty good. And that's just with reef. And then you can swap out. You can do a second setup skill-wise with blade flurry. Yeah, yeah. For bossing and, and stuff, right? And conk effect. And then it's just gonna skyrocket. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put the Abyssia in. This will be like the setup we go for here. Pretty simple. Pretty easy, and that should be like this entire setup should be like 20 to 30 C. Shouldn't be that hard. And even as is, you can socket those differently. So. Yeah, and that's and that's like with super basic weapons, right? Yeah, yeah. This is like if you wanted to get technical, you get a you get double uh, jeweled foils or something. You get one really good rolled one. Get a stat stick one. You don't even need a second one actually. So break the stat stick. You use one good jeweled foil, an offhand mace or something, like a really good crit mace. Yeah, or mace, or, mace or scepter. Yeah, mace or scepter with good crit rolls, crit damage. Attack speed, you know, increased phase. Go fucking wild. Stat stick and just destroy the entire world. Okay, that's duel is done. And then, so lastly, we make ourselves a shadow. And we can be out of here on the... Three hour mark. Well, maybe two, Shadow. two forty-five. I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what I'm doing here. This one should be easy. I've already okay. made a shadow, so that's that's yours. Do, 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 do. Saboteur, and then we're gonna come in and get chain reaction, explosives expert. Um, do, 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 do. Yep, we're gonna go for freeze pulse traps. So I can basically, it's almost worth it to make like a second screen to see where my fucking arc trap is. Uh, let's see how I did my arc trap set up here. You know what? Hang on, let's do that. Don't save. Arc trapper volume two. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's my arc trapper look like? Out that way, out that way. Traps, traps. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Pretty easy to do. Okay. And it's funny to me because, you know, the, this basic setup with Unsmite and Nebulock, okay, sure, you lose one frenzy charge, right? <laughs> yeah, you're at two but charges, yeah. So many people go for, like, rare weapons. Yeah. That cost, I don't know, like, CC. 
and have the same fizz that DPS that yeah. Hans might gives. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> it's like uh, a four C unique. Like why waste the uh, the time, you know? I uh, don't really care about the crit. Drop crit. Is this mind damage penetrates? Oh, we resist. That's all right. Yeah, man. Still, uh, still crafting away. We're on the we're on the last build now. We're two and a half hours deep, and so I'm making a freeze pulse trap shadow, and then we're going to be probably done for today. <laughs> probably done for today. What what time is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably hella late for you. So. Well, it's past midnight. Oh yeah, that's true. Cold. Let's go up, get that. There's a froster. And then from there we go up this way, this way. To get, oh we want trap damage, not mine damage. Whoops, shit. Mm, guess they got this cold over there, what about traps? Okay, so that is still the option to go for. And then from there, crit with traps. I could Dude. make it crit. What's up? Dude. What's up? From the news post, we also wanted to clarify that the torture chamber map is no longer with us. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember which map that is. That's the terrible one. The one that's like, um, sort of like prison and has all these little rooms and doors oh, and stuff. Oh, fuck that map. I think fucking and, sucks. And it wa wasn't it the boss, this squid thing with these four flame... Oh, oh, no, no, I think that's Lava Chamber. Was it Lava Chamber? That's, that's the squid one with the four, the four bottom so fire pits and stuff. So what was Torture Chamber? But that was also... A like dungeon but worse is what chat's saying. Right? Yeah. Expedited uh, munitions. <laughs> Had a squid that shot a laser. Oh right. Right, 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 right. I remember people telling me that that boss was gonna fuck my shit up. And just never running into it. Gold traps. I need some... I have 5% life in the tree. Hold on a second. Backtrack a second. <laughs> Houston, we've missed something! Uh... I really wish that they would add... Like when when Shaper or or Elder, like when the influence spreads, yeah, that the connecting lines would turn white or something. Instead yeah, of yeah, to, to show you where it's gonna fucking connect to. That'd be great. That would be great. Or at least that if you hover over a map, that you know the branches like light up or something. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. So see the actual path sometime. That would be very, very nice, that's for sure. But you know, we we're talking about UI stuff, <laughs> GGG, so. Pretty much. Um... Yeah, Black Pop, yeah, Torture Chamber, yeah, the one. Yeah, true. Where you had to hide behind the pillar or just unshot it. But basically, I remember, you know, torture. It's just a torture to run. And, uh... <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Alrighty, this is a pretty simple build. It's pretty much like my Arc Trapper. It's what, 91? A little low on the life area. 91. It's pretty much just Arc Trapper, but cold damage. 91, 2000 life. Needs a little more in the health department. Get a lot of health from gear. Uh, 800 mana, you know, you know. 
Mind over matter traps. Not really the fucking greatest. Actually, no. I know what I'm doing now. Grab that. Grind mind over matter. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Because all I'm going to do now... This is what? 122. We're going to go... Two passive points. What is this? 99? Whatever. That should work. Okay. Now we go... Tinker skin... Finger skin, what bam? All right, and then we go. Slave driver's hand for blood magic traps, and then we go SOS. Slayer shards, and then in the sire we put the fucking freeze pulse. Freeze pulse. Uh, socketed in weapon one. Crap. Drop mind damage. Um, I don't really care about the crit strike chance, so control destruction. Ah, uh, the freeze would be nice, but cold pen. Um, Bob, they, the way I, I read this One, is two, that tor torture chamber is generally gone. And since we have a new man with um, the, what is it called? These pr primordial blocks? I guess that this just replaced it. <laughs> yeah. Primordial blocks, and they say in brackets, torture chamber. So the new map replaced torture chamber. Nice, nice. Uh, what do you recommend? Regular League or SSF? Uh, you can't play SSF until you clear like Act 3. So play uh, regular league to start is my recommendation. Oh really? Is that so? Yeah, yeah. I, I I know it was fucking weird. I got told that people can't choose you. There's so many things that you don't know because you haven't made a new account in forever. You can't trade until level 25, and you can't uh, play SSF until you get Scion unlocked. Yeah, I knew that because a friend of mine did the trading because a friend of mine wanted to try PoE. Yeah. And I hooked him up with like some basic shit, like a life streak and... Yeah, you, you had to drop stuff. it for him? Yeah. No, I just gave it to him because I could trade to him. Oh yeah, but he couldn't trade to you. He was like, yeah, uh, he wasn't feeling the game and he the items and he was level 15 or something. Yeah. And, and he couldn't trade. <laughs> <laughs> nice, fucking nice. Oh, weakness. All right. My accent sounds familiar. What, what are you guessing? Considering that's gonna shoot a fucking projectile Nova of like five projectiles, it's gonna be nuts. Configuration, do you have frenzy or were you Or were you the one that uh, the challenger wolf? Was it? Was it Black Bob? Was he with us? Uh, no, it was um, Eagle. He was, uh, he was in here before when we were doing things yesterday, not yesterday, a couple days ago. For the other challenges and stuff. He was the one playing the Poets Pen build, he helped me out again today, which was nice. Um, this should work just fine, because you're gonna throw a shitload of projectiles. Although, you can do spell damage here too. Arcane Surge, hang on, we want, uh... Flame dash, Arcane Surge, Faster Casting, because Arcane Surge will boost our damage. Um, <laughs> is there any auras of note? Probably not. Frostbite? Blasphemy Frostbite could be something. Frostbite, Curse on Hit Hero, Nice. <laughs> Numbed. So hit. What the fuck is the cold damage curse? What's the cold damage curse, by the way? I don't remember. Frostbite? Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's what it is. Thank you. Curse on hit. Frostbite. Alright. Also, Frostbomb? Ooh, maybe, yeah. Cast on, cast on crit frost bomb. Maybe I don't know. Well, I don't have any crit, so. Cast on damage taken for. Right, I could have, yeah. 
But I would rather just self cast it. Yeah, probably. Probably. Oh well. Okay, that's pretty self self explanatory. That'll shoot out like five or six fucking projectiles. And Freeze Pulse automatically pierces everything, so. It will. destroy the entire planet multiple times over. So, we're on 245. 245. That's actually. I expected about 230. Honestly, I expected about 230, so. Considering I'm cutting doing the Scion build, if I were to do Scion, I would just go, um, holy fuck, I'm very light now. If I were to do Scion, I would just go for, what was it, Spectral Throw. I would just go Spectral Throw, Scion, and, you know, multiple projectiles and amp the shit out of that over and over again. Um, that would be what I would go for, but, uh, freeze, balls, try is it? Um, survival guide. Okay, um, if I were to go for Scion, I would just go Spectral Throw, do that sort of stuff. Um, now Ascendancy is for this build, we take Explosives Expert for AoE, um, and trap damage and stuff. Chain Reaction for traps, to allow you to do stupid trap setups and stuff. Um, and then this, I promise you, will just disintegrate the whole fucking planet, because I would play it myself if I could. But, I'm playing Arc Trapper. For Elise, um, sil uh, silver makes a valid point with the uh, threshold jewel. Um, <laughs> prepare first. No. Oh shit! Right. right, 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 right. I have jewel slots for a reason. Hang on. Um. <laughs> All right. Hang on. We're not done yet. Let me remember what that is. Forty int in radius. One, two, three, four. That's enough. But wouldn't it be better I mean, thresholds to go with LNP or something? For more damage? Projectiles. I mean, um, we are going to be doing cold shatter and stuff. Oh, but fuck, if I... I cut the crit chance, so I won't be freezing. Fire is additional. Well, the extra projectiles, it's literally just free damage. It's literally just free damage. I don't know if you want a second one, though. That's the thing. Because it has 40 in and radius, right? One, two. Oh, fuck, does it? It does. Okay. Question is that doesn't have 40 in and radius. Are there any other ones that do? One, two, three. It's just out of radius. Lol. Oh, no. There's 40 in in that radius, too. Shit, I can't take that, though. This is where it starts to get. A little sketch. We can cut out some of the spell damage stuff. We can cut the spell damage there. Jewel socket there. First snow volume two. So it shoots an additional five projectiles. It'll start shooting way too many fucking projectiles now. Um, and then control destruction. Oh, I don't have LA focus, so no, we do freeze. We do freeze, which is great. Cold damage and fire damage. Well, fire damage doesn't do anything because it's all cold damage. Um, check my frenzy charges. Don't have any endurance charges. Should be okay. Should be okay. Because, yeah, in the end, that's pretty much... In the end, that doesn't even matter. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going for. Curse on hit frostbite with Herald Device. Herald Device lets us get shatters. You have a bunch of free, a uh, bunch of free mana. You use Mind Over Matter. You Tinker Skin, Slave Driver's Hand is like free traps for Mind Over Matter, survivability. You're fine. Nine projectiles and a Nova outwards. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You'll destroy the fucking planet. Everything is going to die. I wanted to do this, man. I wanted to do this with my Arc Trap fucking setup, but... Literally, okay, so to end off this video, um, I want to explain pretty much what I did yesterday. Was I was trying to use my Sire of Shards for my Arc build before I realized it didn't work. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get this thing, um, I'm going to get this thing 5 linked, and we're going to go and test it, right? So I take my fucking Sire of Shards, and I spam it with Jewelers over and over and over and over and over and over. Because I was going to 5 link it with my Jewelers Touch. So I go and I, um, I get the 6, the six socket eventually. And I'm like, okay, now I five-link it. I put my Jeweler's Touch in, and I read Jeweler's Touch, and it says, 
Gives you a five link item with uh, with a jeweler's orb. Oh, that's painful. Because at six sockets, you can't change it again. Because it can't go back down. So I kept trying to click it with the jeweler's orb to five link the thing. And it wouldn't fucking do it. It wouldn't give. It would just over and over and over. And yeah, so there was a few Fs in the chat for that one. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was an F in the chat. Considering how fucking up and down that day already was, I had a Combs Heart strong box on my level 40 character, meaning I couldn't get a Combs Heart. It couldn't drop. It wasn't possible. So that was a massive kick in the balls as well, which was pretty damn sounds funny. Like, sounds like we both fucked up yesterday. Yeah, 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 apparently. But yeah, so that is going to bring us to the end of this uh, those survival guide excerpt. All of the paste bins and stuff for the builds will be in the description. If you haven't watched the Path of Building video, you know, go take a look at that. It'll show you how to import everything that should have been linked at the very start, hopefully, if I'm, you know, doing my job correctly. Um, but yeah, there's a reason that I put out that video beforehand. I hope this helps you find a league starter that hopefully does rather well. We threw together six builds in the span of three hours, and I still have another three builds video to go. Um, which I'm not gonna record tonight because my fucking throat is gonna kill me if I do. But, uh, yeah, that being said, that is going to be all from me. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna render this thing. I've done really all I need to. I'm just gonna upload the fucking thing as is. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you guys very much so for joining me. I hope I helped you. And as always, take care, lads. I shall see you in Betrayal League. Stay tuned for the streams and for the races. I'll be doing race commentaries on the Ultimate Beginner's Guide coming as soon as possible. Take care, lads. Thanks for making it to the end of my video. If you enjoyed it, take a look at the two pieces of content you're seeing on screen right now. If you wouldn't mind, you can click that big red button and see more updates from me. And if you want to go even further than that, then you can take a look in the description to find my new Patreon link. You boys gotta keep the lights on somehow.